good morning, everybody. Or should we say, hello? <laughs> we were up bright and early. We were up before, what were we up at? Six o'clock this morning, you guys were getting up? We are not gonna chance it this time. If you guys recall, we had a flight a little while back. Oh, I don't. Got this new camera, guys. I'm trying the new camera out. I'm not really trying to see myself. There we go. We had a flight a little while back that we missed. We were late. We missed it. So this time we're not taking any chances with this flight. We are up super, super early. We're gonna get there hours and hours early. We've got, as you guys can see, a little bit of baggage to take with us. We gotta load this all up in the car. We ended up just piling it up here last night. We'll load it up right now. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Guys, this is what it takes to travel. With a family of six. Well, one of the suitcases is just snorkel gear, so. Yeah, we had some amazing I'm not that snorkel. big of an overpacker. <laughs> this one right there is literally almost entirely snorkel gear. We can't wait to show it to you guys. It's it's insane. Where are you listening, sister? Her name, Maddie, her coming to her, to our house. She's gonna come to Hawaii all by herself, huh? Oh yeah, and you guys, Hazy's got on a Hawaii jacket with a Yes Way Vacay shirt on. We are locked and loaded and ready to head out the door. We're gonna say goodbye to Laz, say goodbye to this house, head off to the airport. She has been waiting. How long has she had this, sweetie? She's had this for two weeks, sitting in her closet, waiting to open it. It was special just for the trip. It's her own little Moana doll to open and take on the plane and play with in Hawaii. And we were loading up the bags just now, getting things ready to go, and she goes, no, my Moana! So she ran upstairs to get it, and she can open it right now. You wanna open it? Okay, let's Open it. Open it with you. Check it out, we are loaded. Look at these suitcases. We even got one inside there. We did not bring coats intentionally. The kids have like a rain slicker coat, but you know, it's, gonna be a little it's like 17 degrees here while we go over and wait at the shuttle stop, but we don't want to take big bulky coats to Hawaii. Should we get everything unloaded? Here we go, this is what it's like. Travel, family of six, four kids for 11 days in Hawaii, in case you were ever curious. Phase one is getting all these suitcases to the shuttle and on the airplane. Checked in. A lot of ice too, you guys. Watch out for the ice. All right, everybody, wheel a bag. Here we go. Hawaii, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hazel. You look so freaking adorable right now. You guys coming? Good. Okay. Today. We will watch the sunset at the beach of Hawaii today. Big helpers. Holy mama, we got some stuff. Okay, here we go. That's everything, right? Look around. I think so. Here we go, guys. Once we move into our hotel, we don't have to carry this stuff around anymore. <laughs> this way, my man. Guys, we've learned some serious lessons in our travels. We literally are already checked in, so we're skipping all of that. We checked in online, got our seats and everything. This is just the bag drop. You just walk right up, no line at all. We'll head up to security after this. Yeah, we are on top of it, guys. Like, we kind of spent the money and got good luggage. We found an amazing sale, but like our luggage- It wheels easily. so easily. Kids can have, like, this is amazing. It's been perfect. Attaboy, Kirby, get those muscles. Did you do the big one? Oh, you ended up with the big one, that's why. Are we ready to get on the plane? We're getting on right now. Are you guys stoked? We are leaving Utah. When you get off the plane, we will be in Hawaii. Are you ready for that, dude? Are you ready for that? Yes, I'm gonna definitely fall asleep, and then once we get there, I'm gonna play my Kindle. Okay, deal. Okay, so I'm gonna scan you guys, and then as I say who goes through, all the Hazy's first. So we got Hazel first, crew, that's you, buddy. Braxton, that's you. His dad, Rag Eye. Mom wanted to have her own, so we got mom. Oh, you guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're getting on. 35, 34 and 35 DFG. Dudes, crew we do. Are you ready for this, bro? Is This is a big plane. This is the middle bathrooms. They got other bathrooms, more bathrooms. Hello. Just looking for the spa. Where's the spa? Where's the restaurant? I'm. We get so pillows and a blanket. Get ready, baby. So uh, let's see, Kribi, do you're in first, Daddy, you're going to come first. and then I'll be right here. Here's Hazy's. You guys, we're on. We did this. They also have a headphone jack right here. All right, guys, we just got on the plane. Just this boarded our flight. The guys hard. are finding their spots. This is awesome. This plane is huge. They're super stoked about their individual TV screens all the way through the entire plane. But guys, this plane goes on for a ways up there. You got first class way up there. The middle section back in here. These are our spots. We were able to get six together. These three and these three. The only downside is no window. My favorite is getting those window shots. We won't have any of those for you. Coming into Hawaii today. Yes. Now can I play on my iPad? Yes, you can. Let's get buckled up, okay? 
Guys, we are just so stoked to be here, so stoked to be taking off. In about seven hours, we will be in Honolulu, Hawaii. You guys ready? Are you excited? Yeah, we're yeah. your seatbelt. Hazy girl, you have been so cute and you are so excited for this trip. I cannot wait. Mom, are you, you guys, ready for this? I made the bad decision to chug a water bottle in the TSA so line. So that she could not have to take it So I didn't security. have to throw it away. Been pee like three times. Don't do that. We are so incredibly stoked to this be on this plane so right now fun. and I'm heading so out. so excited. This is like a dream come true that we literally didn't even know would ever happen in our lifetime. I know. And we just it cannot. It has like happened so quickly. This morning has been a whirlwind. It was a huge effort getting here. All of those bags. There were accidents on the freeway. Traffic was backed up for miles. We had a 30 minute delay on the like road. we had everything against us, but somehow we managed to get here. We made it, guys. We learned our lessons from last time. We did a lot of things better and different this time. We checked in online. We got to skip that whole thing. We were rerouted by GPS to take this super strange way that saved Weird. us a ton of time, but we also had the feeling and the prompting to leave earlier than we had planned that on leaving. Bad. So we left 30 minutes earlier, which seemed ridiculous. It gave us like four hours. And Especially ended up being... when you have to entertain the kids the airport it just seems crazy but it ended up being Always just enough it. and they have been great and we are about to take off for a seven hour flight over the pacific ocean and land on the island of oahu <gasps> you guys are coming with us so buckle up let's Stressful. prepare for departure um yeah okay guys um we have to do this and we have to read stories and read stories last time we traveled she was so little i don't, I don't think know. she's gonna remember the plane she... i want to see her reaction when we take off hawaii here we come Hawaii 2019. Let's do this. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board Delta Flight 2767. With service to Honolulu, as you're getting settled in, please place smaller items, purses, briefcases, and backpacks underneath the seat in front of you. And if you have no seat in front of you, all items do need to go in the overhead bin. You're traveling with a rollerboard. Please place it in the bin's wheels or handles first, and please do ensure that the bin does close. We're landing, bro. You ready? Yeah. When you got off the plane, you'll be in Hawaii for the first time in your life. You excited? Yeah. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Honolulu. Approximate local time is 3 o'clock. Certainly has been our pleasure bringing you here in Honolulu. Mahalo. Thank you. Guys, can you feel that heat, bros? Hey, Zakira, stick with me, stick with me. It's so hot. How cool. This is for this is how we bing up. Say hello. Oh, the little one is for Hazy. Aloha. Oh, say thank you. Say aloha. Wow, you guys, look at that. Aloha. Say aloha. Aloha. Aloha, thank you. Aloha. Oh my gosh, you guys. We just landed in Honolulu. Mom had this incredible service ready to go for us where she had everybody give us lays. The kids all have real flower lays on right now. They had a welcome to Honolulu, this is how we Bingham sign. It was so incredible, did not expect that. I don't even know how she knew about that. I think Stephanie told her about it. So she called ahead of time, had them ready to greet us. The entire family is Hawaii'd out, guys. We're here, it's on, let's go. Okay, here we go, guys. Wow, thank you. That makes it a lot easier. So you got yours or I'm gonna take yours? All right, guys, we are just getting here. It has been a long day of travel. These guys have been champions, absolute champions. Everyone is tired because in Utah right now, you guys, it is 8.30, which is past these guys' bedtimes, but it's only 5.30 here. We just pulled in. We are at the Turtle Bay Resort on the North Shore. It's absolutely amazing. By the way, I'm doing this on accident with my hand now as I move my hand, but we are in the private villas. We got a three-bedroom villa. The Turtle Bay hooked us up with an amazing raid on it. We just came in through a private gate, and now we're gonna take our bags and see what this room is all about. It looks amazing from what I saw. It's supposed to be right near the ocean. Let's get our bags. Let's get these kids in there. Let's eat. I'm starving, you guys. We just got to our room. We're about to walk in. I'll open it up for you guys. Here we go. Hey, girl, welcome to Hawaii. Welcome oh, to your bedroom. Crap. Come on in, guys. Everyone, make sure, lift up, make sure someone holds the door for mom, too, okay? Bedroom number one. You got the kitchen. Let's oh, turn on some lights in here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Look at this big, fun family room right here. Wow. Kitchen, wow. Bedroom. Sweetie, look at you way back there. I mean, this is our hotel room. Does this look like a hotel room? <laughs> this is incredible. Jacuzzi, tub. Hang on. Let's we come up here. Hang out 
Bedroom right here. Oh, this is mine and mom's for sure. Master suite right there. Wow, look at that. Big old giant tub, shower. That's probably the laundry room, I think. Oh, look at that fridge. That's like a it's cool fresh. door. Let's see what we got in here. Is this the I freezer? Know. That's where ice cream gets. Oh, go ice, ice cream. In months, people. Guys, we can finally eat. What do you guys think? You like it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the Another bedroom in here, <laughs> bathroom. This is the bedroom when we first walked in, right? I'm kind of losing track of where I've been here. Yeah, this is the first bedroom. TV in every room. Wow, it's guys, like, this is amazing. Room. Turtle Bay, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> Hazy, what do you think? Yeah, Hazy. <laughs> Hazy, are you in Hawaii? Yeah. <laughs> 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 How is this for a view at dinner time? Oh my gosh. First dinner, we just got here today. So this is our first meal in Hawaii is gonna be right here. What do you think of the view from the first meal in Hawaii? <laughs> Wait for dad to get a picture. I just dug in. It is so good. It's like fall off the bone beef ribs, right? Yeah, so yummy. I want with the yes. ribeye. Oh boy, my hair looks a little like I've been traveling all day. We are finally back at the room after dinner, after everything is all said and done. We are wiped out. It is 8 o'clock, which is technically like 11 o'clock in the kids' bodies, so they're a little bit off. We're in Hawaii. We are here. We are in Oahu at Turtle Bay Resort. The kids it's are awesome. exhausted. They're totally exhausted. <laughs> it's time to get us into bed. I just can't believe how many spots there are for them to be. You got Brex and Hazy over there, me and Mom up in this area. You got these guys here. We'll give you a full room tour tomorrow. We're gonna have like a fun resort day tomorrow because we're gonna just kind of do the pool check out the bays here locally close by because I think we're gonna have to kind of normalize our bodies to this time schedule I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kids up at 3 in the morning tonight uh, oh, just because no, they're gonna no. think it's 6 in the morning so we'll see how that goes stay tuned don't miss a single vlog it's going to be insane hope you enjoy traveling here with us and we are just it's incredibly excited to be here you guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't because the next week and a half is gonna be absolutely amazing yeah guys we're here for we a lot of days we love you so much thank you all for sticking with us and hanging out with us and we'll see you guys all tomorrow Hello. Uh, you guys, good morning, and by morning, I mean a coconut literally fell from the tree. Very good early morning, you guys. The sun is not even up. In fact, we were walking to see if we can watch the sunrise or some version of the sunrise. The kids have been up since. I think some of them were up. What's that? Oh my gosh, there's a pool right outside. Oh, that's right. Jared told me about this. It's our own private pool for the villas. So our own little pool here, and then there's the hotel pool as well. So you guys, sun not up. Kids have been up since a little bit before four. Some of them, some got up at five, but we've definitely been up for a while this morning. So we're coming to you first thing. By the way, I don't know if you saw, I started this vlog, started talking as we walked out of our back balcony. And then here we are at the ocean. Look at those waves coming in out there, you guys. So this is the entrance to the ocean right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're gonna go watch the sunrise. Oceanside, I think we're the only people up in this entire hotel. But that's because we just got here and the time zones are not quite Right. This, this Mom's walking around in her pajama shirt. I Dad's pajama. still rocking exactly what I had on on the plane. Guys, I'm gonna have a hard time keeping this vlog under control because every second, every minute is a vlogable, vlog-worthy minute that I want to capture on film to share with you guys and to cherish for forever. All we've done is wake up, walk out our back door, and stand by the ocean, and already I am in heaven, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Waves are these kids' favorite thing. The little water that comes in, they love to just have it get near their feet and then run for their lives. <laughs> Every time we go to California, they can do it for hours and never get bored of it. I love this place. <laughs> I love so this much place. <laughs> Mom had the foresight to do a little grocery shopping here in Hawaii. Do you know what? The kids always need snacks, so I was like, you know what, let's go grab a loaf of bread, peanut butter, those kind of things to be able to make some meals. So we've got the kitchen, we've got the place to eat. We might as well utilize it. So to give you guys a little insight, last night's dinner was $250. It's a big family though. All of these groceries for the whole week was $250. So we've got groceries for the week, snacks, lunches, meals. We can do full meals, breakfast is really well only. 
candy, of course candy. Only have to eat My out for lunch. My only mistake was taking Brandon with me because we bought a lot more snacks than we probably normally would have spent. Oh. So going grocery shopping in Hawaii, not the funnest thing. But they also have different stuff that you want to try. Right, guys, we just got to the pool. Whoa, Look at the so view weird. of the pool, you guys. Absolutely stunning. Look at the view. This is where you swim. That is the ocean view behind you. The waves coming in big time right now. They also have, the reason we came here is they have this kids pool with a water slide that we're gonna go tear up and a little waterfall right there. So this is gonna be the kids area that we're hanging out in. Where are you guys going right now? Yeah. Hold on, let's get sunscreen on. I know it seems weird in January, but we got a sunscreen. <laughs> She's ready to tear up this water slide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back up. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, easy girl. Want to go on the waterfall? Here we go. Three, two, one. Send it. <laughs> We couldn't help ourselves. The menu was just far too tempting. I was trying to be smart and good and be like, we just bought groceries, but we got days. We had days and days to eat those groceries and sandwiches and snacks. But today, look at this. Look at these nachos I just ordered you guys. Kalua pork Kalua nachos. Kalua pork nachos stacked to the Before sky. Before I do anything, I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we've got some buffalo wings. Oh, yes, yummy. We've got some Kahlua pork tacos with chips, and we've got grilled cheese for the kids. Check out where we're eating this too. Right now, these are our seats right here. This is our view. That is two meals with the most spectacular view here at the Turtle Bay Resort. We've got to give you guys a tour of this place, give you a tour of our room later today, but right now we're just having a great time at the pool, having some fun in the sun, and now about to have some amazing lunch right here poolside. are over here just diving for anything they can no, find they're diving, for cups. they're diving for clear plastic cups they're having so much fun Let's go again. we just finished lunch again. and it was absolutely amazing I cannot believe that they're just playing out there where you see all those beautiful waves it is absolutely insane you guys it's the first time I'm using the camera I quite like it the view out here is absolutely amazing we're just having fun soaking in the sun just enjoying our day kids are loving this water slide here comes Brexy good job good job Brex there's dad Acting like a child. <laughs> and I'm guessing here comes our Miss Hazy. Good job! Again and again, she says. You did so good! Again and again. I am fading fast on energy. These guys, not so much. As you can tell, it is only lunchtime. I'm ready to go to bed. What do you guys want to do? Mom was debating if she wanted to get in or not, so the boys just drug her right into the water. That's how you get mom in the water. I've been playing in the water. So we're gonna do the classic, what did I say underwater game? We got Rye Guy, Kruby Doo, Brexy, and myself. We're gonna go underwater. Kruby's going first. You guys try and guess what he says. Say it nice and loud for the camera, okay? You ready? Okay. Two, three. Yelling. That's all I heard is ah! I think he was just screaming. I said hello! <laughs> We've narrowed it down to one word. The multiple words is too hard to understand. The one word challenge. Kirby, are you ready? Yes. 
I just did Hawaii. I thought everyone would get it, but they all said hazy, which is actually okay because she invented Hawaii. Okay, you're up. Can we do three, okay. two, one, under? Braxton, what is button? <laughs> back from the pool so we're gonna just kind of unwind a little bit take it easy and then probably head back out maybe do a little bit of snorkeling the clouds came in looking like there might be a quick little rainstorm as often happens here in Hawaii I think we had burnt ourselves out by having so much fun out there we're gonna take a small break then possibly head back out and do some snorkeling right here in the bay but first of all I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of this place because I very briefly we ran in here yesterday and checked it out but now we've had a minute or two to be super impressed by it check this out you guys so you come in the door this is your this is what greets you as you first come in you have a rye guy down there doing orange justice <laughs> But it is, as you can see, the size of it is just spectacular, guys. This is the three-bedroom villa at the Turtle Bay. It's the Ocean Villas at the Turtle Bay Resort on the north shore of Oahu. Come in, you got your first bedroom right off here to the right. Great bedroom. This is where Rye Guy's staying right now with Kruby Doo. Two of them in this bed. Fits perfectly. Come down this way a little bit. Come into the kitchen. You've got your double ovens if you felt like getting fancy with the cooking. You got your dishwasher if you really want to do some dishes. Double sink. Stove top over there. You see our groceries. You got your refrigerator and freezer. Great size. Tons of storage. It's fully stocked, you guys. So we got plates bowls, silverware, everything you need to prepare any meals. We've got coffee pots, toasters, teapots, absolutely everything. Ragai, why don't you take us through to the next section? Okay, so I'm gonna take you to Brexton and Maddie's room. This is Brexton and Maddie's room. They got the nice TV. They got two clocks. I don't have one. <laughs> we can up. give you one of them. <laughs> nice dresser, chair, bed, obviously. Good size bed though, you guys. Bed, nice closet. Good. Oh, that's that a really closet big closet. Is, like, it's big enough to be its own bedroom. That's honestly got all of our suitcases. I didn't even know where those disappeared to. Mom put that stuff away for us. So. Where it all is. <laughs> Thank you, Ragai. And then right up here, there is the bathroom that they share. Ragai uses this, and then also bathroom for those guys. Oh, wait, real quick, what's this? Sorry. Oh, washer and dryer stacked on top of each other. That's cool. Okay, so this is the dining area. Super rad, right out of the kitchen. You got this fun little bar that opens up inside this open window, which makes it feel super open and like flows really cool down into here. And then from the dining area down into the main living area, which is where we kind of hang out. This is where I edit at night. Chairs. Yeah, you've got chairs. This one actually came from our room, so we could put Hazy's pack and play in there, her little crib. We thought it'd be better to have more seating. Super rad picture, epic big wave surfer up there on the wall. Perfect spot. This is where I sit to edit. You got your TV here, and they got a, a lot of fun setups if you really wanted to come veg in Hawaii, which I wouldn't one, recommend. They have one DVD player, one sound thing, or DVD player, and another DVD player. And then like cable and everything. If you wanted to veg out in Hawaii, but why would you do that? Because just off to the side here, you've got your balcony patio area. This thing is amazing. You got this recliner chair right here. You've got a table with four chairs around it. You got another little mini table, and you are out here in the gorgeous, gorgeous just tropical air of Hawaii, you guys. Sitting under palm trees, looking out at these big, beautiful plants. As you can see, Ryler can jog down this thing. <laughs> then right under palm trees. <laughs> you take this little path right to there, and then if you can see right out there, that is the ocean. Those are the big waves. That's where we were this morning when we went and watched the sunrise. Absolutely stunning, giant blue waves. Uh, a lot of baby powder. A lot of baby powder, because we learned a baby powder trick with the sand, and then the kids had a lot of fun with the baby powder. Powder? Baby powder. I love how they have these big gigantic open doors because then it makes the whole thing seem open. We just sit with these open in this room right here. And then yeah. you can feel the tropical breeze. You can hear the sounds of the outside. And you can be sitting inside but still feel like you're a little bit outside. Love it. Let's go show them the main master bathroom. Check this out. This is the big master bath. We've got the deep, deep tub right here. You've got the glass shower. A little privacy toilet over here. Sorry guys, it's not totally cleaned up. You got your double sinks here. Big giant mirror to get ready. Okay, you got the master bathroom over there. But this is like an entry that you can actually close these doors. So when me and mom go to bed at night, in there we can close these doors off and if the kids wake up they want to like be loud and get themselves some breakfast they can do that right here where we can still have some peace although that hasn't happened yet <laughs> oh you open up these doors <laughs> i don't imagine happening come in here what do we got in here right guy this is uh, where i put like, like all a giant closet or what is this it's got a closet okay. that won't open and this is our amazing room that's huge the master bedroom so fantastic um, you guys. when you're used to sleeping in a king size bed and then you come to a hotel that has a queen we didn't even know what size of beds would be in here but this is a king and it's so great we also put hazel in here with us because she doesn't sleep as well so the other kids so rather than waking them up, we have her in here with us. They gave We've us actually a got Moana taking a little nap, which Moana's is nice. Moana's taking a nap with some candy. This place is amazing. This is incredible, you guys. Big master bedroom, big master bed. Still haven't unpacked myself here. I will get to that. Busy editing last night, as you guys can see my little setup over there. Something that we're having a hard time getting used to are just all the different stairs and steps. We keep tripping on these little things, not knowing that they're there. Definitely living in what feels like luxury here. Super stoked on it. Right, guys, have you enjoyed this? Do you feel like it's pretty comfortable? Yes, it is way better than I thought it would be. And like, it's just so big and we're not all like crammed into a little room. 
room. One time we went to Park City and literally we were all just crammed up. We could hardly fit in there. We had the one bedroom and it had like one bed and we tried to all sleep around it and I was on the floor. So we thought, well, we can do the two bedroom setup with the door that's adjoining. Even that just gets so cramped, especially for this many days. And so that's why we decided to research more condo style accommodations like beach houses. The Villa Terra Turtle Bay really stood out. And you guys, the Turtle Bay has been amazing with us. They've been incredible. They gave us an insane rate on this room. Yes. As you guys can see, it's, it's pretty like incredible, exquisite accommodations here. Thanks to them and their hospitality for making it possible for us to stay here. And then also, if you guys want to check them out, their website, turtlebayresort.com. They're always running specials, always running deals. They've always got some combination of discounts, ways to save money on your stay here. So we highly, highly recommend it, you guys. They've been incredible and we are so stoked to be here. There's no better place to stay on the North Shore. All right, guys, that's enough sitting around for us. We're sunscreening up. We're heading out to the beach right now. We got these six snorkel masks we're gonna give a try. And me, and, my shoes. me and Raga have these crazy shoe fins. We're gonna try and swim in them, but they also have shoes on the bottom. We're gonna check these out, tell you guys all about them, but they just look freaking cool. Turtle Bay, right? This is the Turtle Bay Resort, probably the Turtle Bay. So I am expecting to see some sea turtles. I'll tell you, so far I stuck my face in there and saw sand. I think maybe you're supposed to swim a little bit further out. <laughs> Hazy is calling the sea. <laughs> I don't know what she's been like. She's been like yelling, out. dancing. <laughs> <laughs> all the ways. She's got her Moana necklace on. The heart of Te Fiti. So I think she's actually communicating with the ocean right now in a way that we can't quite understand. I am a one. I love you, ocean. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have got their snorkel masks on. We're taking it pretty easy right now, guys. I wouldn't call this snorkeling per se. Sun is getting a little bit lower here. It might take in the sunset here right on the beach here at Turtle Bay. Look, guys, those waves out there. I wish you could see them. I know you can't see them. They are huge. Guys, look at that. Right, guy. That is the biggest wave I've ever seen. Look at that. Look at this right here. Right there on the left. On the left. There, the one behind that was even bigger. I just spotted a mermaid. She's going back to her natural habitat. Back to Aquaman's world. <laughs> I thought maybe they'd be a little more graceful. <laughs> oh, yeah. One, two, three, we'll say Hawaii. So we wrapped up our swimming snorkeling session at the beach that there. That was really fun. Short lived, but it was fun. But all we could do is look at these giant waves breaking just out over the reef or wherever it is that they're breaking out there. And I know, look at this. We were walking, like through, walking through the jungle through the in Hawaii. Rainforest. So guys, we're finishing off our day. We're gonna try and catch the sunset or at least the beginning portion of the sunset out here far out on this reef with these gigantic waves. There's a little stick oh out right my here. Gosh, this is not look at this. Look at this. Look at the size of that over there, you guys. Oh my gosh. So we want to walk out on this, get a better look at these giant waves as the sun sets here in Oahu. This literally just sticks out in the middle here and you've got two bays on either side. This is the one we were just swimming in right there. And we were just looking at these waves and mom just said we have to get out there to see if we can see it. Kind of rocky terrain. He didn't bump you. Let's just do one cheese, then we'll be done, okay? And real smile. Hey, as you do, I am Moana. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. Hazy, <laughs> hey, is this Hawaii? This puts the wow in Hawaii, I'll tell you that much. Look at this. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> so now that we have gone and seen the one place I wanted to see at the hotel, hey, and by the way, sick it's pick. just as amazing as I thought it guys, would be. Check it out on our Instagram. Mom's gonna post it right now at this is how I'm we going to. You guys, it's it's unreal. It's unreal. And then Ryler snuck the cutest picture of me and Dad, so I'm super excited about it. But yeah, you guys, if you're not following on Instagram, you should be at this is how we begin. I post stuff there that you won't see in the vlogs. Go follow us on Instagram. We're gonna go back up, get a little bit cleaned up, figure out something for dinner. We're not really hungry, but it's like dinner We're on time. Vacation, you gotta eat. And, and we haven't eaten in two months. Just, getting ready for the vacation. We just want to eat because we can. Make it up for lost time. <laughs> we decided we would head out to eat again tonight. So we, yeah, eating is a very big part of vacationing for us. If you haven't picked that up yet, but we will look at this place called Pounders Restaurant. Pretty sure I'm saying that right, Pounders. But we showed up and it's at the Polynesian Cultural Center, and there are a ton of other food options. So I think we're gonna wander a little bit, see if there's any like a food see. truck, anything else. These guys are dead, by the way. They're so I tired. <laughs> Guys, we wanted pizza tonight. We were just craving pizza tonight. Could not figure out where to get it. This looks amazing. Place to go. Mom's got the Hawaiian. You guys know me. My traditional Hawaiian. I eat like a five-year-old. Hawaiian pizza, or is it just called pizza here? This one's twist on Hawaiian. So it's special Hawaiian. I've got what they call Pele. Was it Pele's volcano? Something like that. This one is just a hot and spicy pepper-filled pepperoni pizza. Brexit doodle. Got the cheese with fries. These guys' pizzas are coming out of the oven right now. We're about to chow down. First full day is under wraps. Guys, we are we done. We crushed it today. We were just saying how we feel like we've already had a full vacation here and it's been one, <laughs> one day. day. I was like, yesterday was awesome when we did the pool, and then today was fun when we did like the beach. And I was like, wait, those that was both the same today. day. <laughs> We're already so tired. The kids are exhausted. The kids were zonked in the car on the way home. They barely made it out of the restaurant alive. Like we were oh. carrying them, but they fell asleep in the car. We just put them right into bed. Just a good reminder that we still have really young kids that we have to take it a little bit slower than yeah. we think. It's been a really fun day. But guys, we do have some special, special plans for tomorrow. Potential milestone could be hit. But we also have a huge surprise that we've been holding for months that we are going to drop on you tomorrow. It's going to be We do epic. surprises a lot. This one's big. It's very big. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's it. That's okay. going to be all. We love you guys don't miss tomorrow's vlog don't miss any of these vlogs it's gonna be awesome thank you guys for all the love subscribe if you haven't smash that like button and we'll see you guys tomorrow Bye. hello oh i should say aloha aloha <laughs> and good morning everybody aloha. Aloha. <laughs> i started out saying good morning i was like wait a minute that's not what you say when you're in hawaii you say aloha this morning we are starting out with our breakfast that we bought yesterday we got the kids cereal we got them I breakfast specifically one it's still your day? Yeah, and I'm prepared. You guys, I don't know what is wrong with her, but her face is really red. And I want you guys to know, I put sunscreen on her face twice. I need to do something different today that we need to buy a new sunscreen or something. Miss Hazel has a few spots that maybe the sunscreen didn't get, so we sunscreened differently last night. Everyone's having breakfast. Brexy is, ready he's ready to go. He has these <laughs> shoe flippers on that we got, and he is just ready to rock. Better daddy. Fry Guy is having a breakfast. warm Pop-Tart. I'm getting Fry Guy's take on the thumbnail. What do you think of this, bro? Should I put the title here? What color should we do? So he just carrying on the family vlog business. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> just two studs working. Speaking of the family vlog, guys, there's a potential milestone we may hit today. Well, let's not jinx it. Let's okay, just wait not, and see if it happens. We got it on our mind, though. We're watching you guys. It's nice to have food in the house. I really feel like it has saved us because there's just things that the kids want to have a snack or something, and we've been able to just sit here, you know, have this, have a banana, have something. So we've been stocked and prepared. So I think that's a necessity when you have a family this size traveling. We're just trying to decide what the final plans are for today. Getting things ready and we're gonna head out here soon. We are starting off our day right. We are headed to Waimea Bay right now. Epic cliff jumping rock. They've got snorkeling. They've got miles of beach. Okay, maybe not miles, but a big long beach. We got snorkel gear. We got beach towels. We got Hazy and her adorable sun hat. We got sand toys. We got everything we need for the most epic. Oh, look at that. You can see I got a new lens on this. You can see way more around me. For the most epic, insane day two here in Hawaii. Not to mention a huge surprise coming tonight. Do not miss the end of the vlog. Gigantic surprise coming your way. We may have been a little ambitious with our idea here today. We decided we would hit up Waimea Bay for our epic afternoon of fun here That's in Oahu. We drove by Sunset Beach where the World Surf League is actually hosting a competition right now. Incredible to see that. Then we went by the Bonsai Pipeline. Cars backed up for miles. Telescopes, telescopic photo lenses, people taking pictures of these guys getting barreled in these sick, sick waves. So we thought this is going to be awesome. We're going to go to Waimea Bay. It's going to be nice and calm. We turn the corner and there are massive white water smashing, crashing waves into the rock that we had planned to jump off with kids and just have a nice leisurely snorkel. So this is the big wave season. It is January. It's that time of year when they're got the big waves. So we're going to go out here, just take a little walk and see if it's something we feel like we can get in or something we need to avoid with the kids. 
kids. We're just gonna be able to look at it today. Either way, we'll get some sick drone shots. We obviously don't know Oahu or Hawaii in the month of January. That's where I was planning on taking the kids to jump and that's what would crush them right there. <laughs> now that's a wave, bro. <laughs> we literally had planned to spend the day swimming and jumping off of this rock as we have seen in so many YouTube videos. That's not happening, you guys. Look at that wave, we'll get a curl, dude. Oh. Look at that, look at the size of that, dude. Looks like we won't be jumping off that rock. We won't be snorkeling here. I did buy some $2 inflatable rafts to keep us safe. We're gonna find something else to do. Waimea Valley and Falls are just over here in this lush green area. Could do a nice little short hike to that. That could be a lot of fun. Taking the beauty here, maybe go watch some of the big surf competitions. Still plenty of epic stuff to do. Might just not be getting into this water for some snorkeling. I know we are gonna do Hanuma Bay down on the other end of the island one of the days here. So we'll get some epic snorkeling in. But today's Waimea Bay cliff jumping excursion has been put on hold. Brandon's flexing behind me. Uh, so we went to Waimea Beach. Waimea Bay, that yes. was Bay. That was totally a fail. We had no idea that we didn't know that that's what it's like in January. We decided to cross the street and go up to the Waimea Falls. So we are here taking in all this beauty. As we're in the jungle right now, like it's insane. It is absolutely incredible. So we're gonna take like a three-quarter mile hike. It's a three quarter mile hike and then you get up there to the falls and it's like 40 foot falls, 30 feet deep. It's gonna be absolutely you amazing. Swim in it. So yeah, we're you can it. swim in it. Thankfully we came prepared to swim, so everyone's ready. We got out the stroller, we're gonna take Hazy up there rather than having her ask us to carry her. Guys, we are so excited that we did this. This is so, I already did this once and I didn't hit record, so they're laughing at me. Um, we are so pumped that we did this. There's so much more to it than I thought there was. I just thought it was like a walk up to a waterfall, but as you walk through, you are literally in a jungle surrounded by trees, surrounded by gigantic jungle trees. Hayes is our tour guide. She's got our map up there, but guys, as we walk through, they've got all these little stops. Everything has got labels. You've got gigantic green hills over here. You've got these huts that they've made. The trees are just enormous, unlike anything I've ever seen. Hawaiian flowers, birds, wildlife. There's so much more. I feel like we gotta be getting close. It's only a three quarter, like a three quarter mile hike through gorgeous, I almost said delicious jungle. I'm getting all my senses confused here, guys, because they're all on fire in Hawaii right now. Waimea Valley, the Waimea Falls hike through the jungle. I feel like we gotta be close. I feel like it's like right up here because there's one little bridge and then we should be there. But this is like beyond beautiful. We just caught our first glimpse of it. It is stunning, gorgeous. Cannot believe we're about to go swim in that. It'd be one thing to see it. It'd be one thing to walk up and just look at it. We're going to get in the water and swim to those falls. We just arrived, let's go. Guys, we just got our life jackets. We are literally getting into this waterfall. I, I know where Hazy gets literally from. I say literally all the time because literally. I just, I say that when I can't believe it's actually happening. I'm like, this isn't just like out of a movie. This isn't like something in a screensaver. Literally. We are literally climbing into this water and swimming to that waterfall. And as a family, we're going to stand underneath Waimea Falls. Guys, I am so pumped. The only GoPro can bring you this shot. We're going underneath that waterfall and I am so stoked to have my GoPro with me right now. Pushes you away. Where the water hits, you gotta get pushed out. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Guys, check me out. Woo! 
Guys, you are under Waimea Falls, bro. Woo! Right here. Yeah. Jump off to me. One, two, three, go. <laughs> gorgeous swim the water is absolutely clear i told the kids it's gonna be probably kind of brown we don't expect it to be see-through incredible views just turn around and take a look at what i'm looking at right now wait did raga go back in too oh you wanted to change his jacket i know <laughs> <laughs> The Bingham boys hanging here at Waimea Falls. Guys, have you had a good time? Yeah! <laughs> the water's a little cold. Hazy was kind of crying the whole time, so mom took her out. They're just taking a little potty break, but this has been incredible, guys. This is a scene out of a movie. We're gonna get out, head back down, have some lunch. All right, guys, when we got here, there was nobody swimming in here, and now the place is getting pretty busy. Look at that, getting a little bit crowded in here. We just got done, freezing cold water, but absolutely gorgeous scenery. Just wrapping up our time here, dude. Right, guys, what did you think of that swimming in the waterfall? Fun. One of the sickest things you've ever done in your life? Yeah. I mean, bro, the water was crystal clear. You're swimming in a waterfall in Hawaii. It's right there behind us. Still can't believe that just happened. Hazy's over here taking pictures. We're gonna hike down now, get something to eat. But dude, that's one to remember, bro. That's Hello. one to remember. Wait, are you videoing? Yeah, but I need the GoPro. You can't really see me. Oh, there you go. You can see me and you. Brex wanted to take the shuttle down. I said, you don't need a shuttle. You got a dad. <laughs> and Crew still has a dad, but doesn't have a shuttle, so he... <laughs> Hip hop. <laughs> hey, look at this. Everybody's got somebody. Mom's got crew, which is not making any sense because he's heavier than Braxton. Right guy's got hazy and right guy's wearing her sun hat there. Guys, Hi. back through the jungle we go. I had a little bit of an accident. Mom, wet her pants. Bad guys. But that's the thing I hate about wearing swim cover-ups over swimming suits is you just look like you peed your pants for yeah. the whole day. <laughs> you coming? Right guy, love your hat, buddy. Love it. Thanks. I bet you did over in the jungle, baby. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we are just finishing up, and what is. That is so cool. The kids are getting tired, so Dad decided to throw one up on top. Shuttle service. We are coming up on the end here of this quick little walk. It didn't feel very quick, but we are gonna go eat some lunch down here. They offer a little cafe that has sandwiches, cheeseburgers, all that kind of yummy stuff. I didn't eat breakfast today, so I'm starving, so we are gonna go grab some lunch. got back to our room it's our first rain that we've had since we've been here and I was led to believe that this is rainy season so it should rain every day for quite a bit but this is our first even drizzle that we've had today it's kind of fun to see the tropical rain here just lightly drizzling here at the Turtle Bay Resort gonna head in right now relax a little bit and then it'll be time for our big epic huge ginormous surprise so stick around On this YouTube journey, we never even imagined we would hit 500,000 subscribers and to hit a milestone that amazing on the beaches of paradise, you guys. I mean, oh, look at the sun setting it's behind like cotton us. cotton candy back there. It literally is. It's cotton candy. It's for us, you guys. The Sky Game we is cotton candy out. for 500,000 subscribers. We you are can... so grateful for each and every one of you for showing up every day for our family. It means the world to us. Right, guys? We're so yeah. grateful for oh all of our gosh, subscribers and all you. of our followers. And honestly, guys, I remember when we hit 100,000 subscribers, I thought to myself, the next big milestone is 500,000 and that's so far out and we never thought we would hit 100 to hit it this kind of fast awesome. in this fashion and we wanted to will it into existence to hit it here in Hawaii but I was like don't overthink it because as you guys have seen we've been gaining subscribers and our family's been growing at a crazy rate going 
into this trip to Hawaii, and so we knew it was possible, but we didn't know it would happen on our second full day here, it's you guys. It's been amazing. 500,000 subscribers. Our mind is blown, you guys. This means everything to us. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. Just like mom said, each and every one of you, each and every yes. 500,000 of you around the world. Thank you guys for signing up, for subscribing, and for tuning in. You guys good down here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They say that I can get long-winded, but I mean, the 500,000 subscriber milestone is just such a it's, big deal, you guys. It's honestly, all of our hopes and dreams are coming true. We're in Hawaii, first of all, which we've never been able to do anything like no. this. And so we're so excited to be here and to be able to celebrate in such a huge fashion. And guys, we're so excited. Can we let you in on a little something? I think too. you guys know this. It's because of you. We're here in Hawaii because of you. You guys provide this for us by tuning in Thank every day, so by signing up to be a part of our YouTube family and yeah, by no watching our videos. Yeah, getting into, right? Yeah, <laughs> careful what you wish for. This 500K celebration is for all of us. We hope you feel that way. We hope you feel a part of this. And I do believe that the sky gave us cotton candy tonight to celebrate 500,000 subscribers. Ice cream now. Literally pink. We never imagined that we would be able to go on a dream vacation like this to Hawaii. This has been a dream and we this just got started. This has been perfect. But to add on top of that, hitting 500,000 subscribers in this location, on our vacation, on the beaches of Hawaii. We hit 500,000 ah, subscribers so in the sand on the beaches of Hawaii. It is mind blowing, you guys. But guys, don't go anywhere yet because we still have the big epic surprise we promised you that is still coming. What is it? Any guesses? Comment below. What do you think the surprise is? What's coming up? We're always full of How are we finishing this vlog? It's already been so epic already. What could possibly top it all? We have been teasing this surprise literally all day through the entire vlog, and we're just sitting around waiting to see if it's even gonna happen. Do we you don't think know. it'll happen? Oh! oh that? I think that's it, I think that's it! Oh, <laughs> Alright, so the last, oh, first of all, aloha! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning from Oahu, you guys. Now, the last we left you, this is what you saw. This was the scene last night. <laughs> and that's where the vlog ends, but here's where the celebration begins. <laughs> you guys, are you kidding me? Michelle and Daniel are in Hawaii right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, now some of you might be wondering what is going on? What is your sister Michelle doing in Hawaii with you? Daniel's in the house. We brought Michelle out here and Daniel because we want to hang out with them in Hawaii and she is going to take the most sick, insane, incredible family pictures oh, you've yeah. ever seen. Oh, yeah. So you guys, make sure you're following us on Instagram at This Is How We Bingham. She's going to up our Instagram game to the next level. You're going to see stuff on a new level that you've never seen before because we're in, she is pretty next level. We're in Hawaii, you guys. Once in a lifetime shot at this. So we want to do it right. We want to capture it right. So the best way to do that is with Michelle from Michelle Madsen Photo. <laughs> And very first order of business, you guys, we're gonna go you snorkeling. Do? We're gonna go off Ice and find cream. some snorkeling. And this time we're hoping to not have it be like crushed by giant waves. We found a spot. We think we can go snorkeling. It also happens to be the home of the most famous shave ice in all of Hawaii. So two for one. Let's go. Hey! There's a little bit of construction, so we're just chilling. <laughs> Full stop. As you can see, guys, it goes on for a little ways here. A little construction, a little slowdown on our way to Hialeah. Hialeah. <laughs> Not really sure where we're going. Guys, I love the topless Jeep. Fantastic. Hey, are you guys having fun in the Jeep? Yeah. Is it pretty amazing being with Emma Michelle and Uncle Daniel? Yeah. With the top off in Hawaii? Look at that, you guys. Hawaii. 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 Hashtag Hawaii. <laughs> Go, 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 go! 
We are here at the world famous Halieva Harbor. It took me a long time to figure out how to say and spell that. We called and asked for where we could do a snorkeling adventure. They said they didn't have any through the hotel at the moment, but to check out Halieva. So I looked that up using a V. It is not spelled that way. And then when I found it, I realized I felt kind of stupid because this is super world famous beach. A lot of shark diving, snorkeling adventures, a lot of fun things to do here. We're gonna spend the entire day here in Halieva. Gonna get some shave ice, gonna see if we can do some snorkeling. I saw the shark cage right over here that we'll be getting in later on this week. But right now we're just gonna wander around and see what there is, what they have to offer. We have found our beach, we found our camping spot, we found where we're gonna be spending the day today. We just took a little walk from over there. We were down there, that's where we were trying to find a spot to snorkel or do something down there, and it just wasn't quite right, so we walked around the corner and found this wide open section of beach. It's just sandy, perfect depth. It goes out with no waves. The kids can just kind of wait around right out here, get on these little rafts that we're gonna blow up and just stick our faces in the water, snorkel, see if we see anything, but it is gorgeous, you guys, in a full 360 degrees of beauty here. Okay, maybe 180. behind. This is maybe not as beautiful as what's in front of us, but this is absolutely stunning, you guys. So here's where we're gonna be spending the day today. And then shave ice to finish. This is a scene out of a postcard. All right, guys, is this one of the most beautiful places you've ever seen in your life? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Should we get in that freaking crystal clear water? Yes. <laughs> my God! Got it, got it, got it, got it. Go, go, go! <laughs> get it, get it. I freaking got it, dude. I got it. That was awesome. All right, you guys. Let it into deep space. Just kidding. We're going snorkeling. See if we can find the Zappo shit. Here we go. Winding down our time here, wrapping up, picking up our stuff, packing up. We're gonna go get some shave ice. We've been wanting this since we got here. Our first trip for shave ice. Hazy girl, you excited for shave ice? Guys, this was the perfect beach. You can see a storm moving in. It actually looks pretty awesome. You got the darker clouds coming in. So what can you do besides get some shave ice? Hit up some surf shops. Do a little souvenir shopping. I am wearing sunglasses. With sunglasses making darker clouds. Now it's normal. Now it's normal. <laughs> okay, I love you so much. Let's go get some shave ice, should we guys? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it in the camera guys, but we are leaving at the perfect time This dark cloud like storm has moved from out in the middle of the ocean and just made like what I call landfall It sounds like it's a hurricane, but we watched it come in and push hard You used to be able to see a mountain sticking out right there It is completely gone We're leaving at the perfect time right now as this tropical storm comes pushing its way right at us The storm came in but that does not stop us from getting the most famous shave ice in the world Matsumoto, is that how you say it? Matsumoto shave ice Guys, this place is so legit. We've been in line for like probably five minutes. It's still the line it comes down here It goes down down there in the rain. And this is when it's bad weather in January. This is what the line's like, you guys. This place is literally world famous, best shave ice on the planet, right? Like, isn't it known for that? Raga, what kind of flavor do you think you're gonna get? They got some crazy combinations, bro. I want, so they have these ones where like, it's shave ice on the bottom, a cookie, and then ice cream. Wait, are you serious? Oh my gosh, I wanna see that. guy's getting his very first souvenir of the trip right now. Hawaii license plate from Matsumoto. It's perfect, dude. Dry guy is hitting up that Hawaiian swag. He's got the bracelet, he's got the necklace. Dude, you look pretty much Hawaii 5-0, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta fit in.
There's only one place you can be when the clouds come in, the storm starts to hit, and it's kind of lasting all afternoons. So we decided to hit up the hot tub. No better place than that. With a view of the ocean and the storm, big waves rolling in, but we are nice and warm, nice and toasty here in the hot tub. How are you guys That's feeling? Red. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> That's red. That's red. No, he said dad is red. I'm red? Wait, am I red? Like my, oh, am I getting red. a sunburn? Your skin is red. I've been oh. putting on so much sunscreen, you guys. Like I don't ever sunscreen. I literally, I hate to admit this, I normally don't put on any sunscreen. Minnie doesn't either, so I'm not gonna be on my own on this one. I have been good this trip. I'm starting to look old. <laughs> starting. And so I, <laughs> I have been putting it on like crazy before I ever get in the water and then I'll reapply. And I, I don't know if it's a different sun here in Hawaii or what. It does say Hawaii. I kind of said like Hawaii, <laughs> but I feel like I'm getting toasted. I really do. Okay, so we had a lady call trying to get a hold of us. She's like, I have a big delivery. So we've been waiting in the room for her. We're just getting ready to go out to dinner, but we are waiting for this big delivery. We're like, what is it? What could it be? Very curious to know what this delivery will be. All right, you guys, we are gearing, oh, gearing up for this delivery. Congratulations! Oh! I'll give you guys one guess who that's from. I can guarantee you I know who sent this. Oh my this goodness. Is incredible. Yes. Can you see it out here, sweetie? Yes, you, the whole you can. Time. You can bring it in. It has to be in person if you want to. 500 k Oh my gosh. Guys, wherever we go, the Ravellis make sure to that's celebrate. Amazing. Can you tell us who this is from? Do they say who it's from? Do you know who it's from? Well, we have our guesses because they do this every time we hit a new 100,000. They, they give us this these same words. And I was so sad that we weren't going to get I'm the balloons on this one. So yeah, thank you. Okay, you take that. Yeah, we gotta get a picture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, bring yeah, those yeah, babies on in. Oh my gosh. This is, this so is incredible. Cute. You guys, 500k from Stephanie Ravelli. Clear out. Is that who it's from? They Stephanie said? Stephanie. From Stephanie Ravelli. Oh my gosh. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great night. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is incredible. Oh Ravelli. And he's crying. We have great, amazing friends. The one thing I thought was missing from the 500K celebration are the balloons from the Ravellis, and they got them to Oahu for you guys, us. We have the best friends in the whole world. It means the world to us. After an epic day at the beach, followed by kind of a rainy, stormy sesh in the hot tub, a huge surprise celebration from the Ravellis. 500K balloons delivered to our room. We are wrapping this day up at Seven Brothers Burgers at the mill, right? At the mill? I think this may be the original location. This thing is world famous, you guys. It is gonna be delicious. They are incredible burgers. We're gonna have a little bit of dinner, get into bed because we have a very, very busy day tomorrow. A lot on tap, including the arrival of a very special individual. Oh Delicious meal, amazing shake. Seven oh Brothers was off the chain, lived up to the hype, and then some. That was seriously I so good. I want to go there again. Super exciting and fun day, hanging out with Michelle and Daniel, hanging out at the beach. It was a good day. Uh, guys, if we only brought Michelle along for this picture, <laughs> it would have been worth it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, so He's much amazing. more where that came from. Check out our Instagram at This Is How We Bing Them. We'll be posting those inside these vlogs as well as on our Instagram, sending over a ton of great pictures every single day. We are so stoked to have her with us. But guys, we have one more very special visitor to join us tomorrow. Bet you guys all know what it you is. You guys know who this one is. And there are so many people asking about it. We won't even hold you in suspense or make you guess. You probably already know. Maddie Hi. joins us tomorrow. Princess Madison in the house. Our family will finally be complete. It's We've gonna be amazing. We've got so much on tap. We are going to wake up early, go hike Diamond Head, overlooking Honolulu, the Waikiki Beach, and we're gonna go pick her up at the airport, and then we're gonna head straight to Hanauma Bay for some insane oh, snorkeling. So uh, guys, Maddie joins us. So much fun activity going on in Hawaii. Don't miss it. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, especially at our fun Hawaii vacation. We've had a lot of fun. We've enjoyed having you along with us. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. We're gonna have a ton of fun this week in Hawaii. You don't wanna miss so, this week. We love you guys. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.
and good morning everyone you guys we are starting out today starting the hike up to diamond head it's absolutely beautiful it's a little bit of a walk but we are so excited we're here with the whole crew Woo! can't see, see anybody over brandon but <laughs> we've got everyone here it's starting out to be a beautiful day we are so excited we're going to do this today we are going to pick up sweet madison come along with us as we take this little hike up to the top of diamond head Right guys, is it pretty sick to think that we are walking on the inside of a volcano? Yeah, I can't believe like right now where I'm standing is where lava used to be. Yeah, so we are in the crater of Diamond Head right now, hiking our way up to the top, taking that breathtaking view of Honolulu, Waikiki Beach. It's not that bad of a hike, it's paved, there are some steep stairs, and we just looked up to the top, and there's like a backup line of people waiting to take in that view. So we're gonna get up there as fast as we can, take it all in, head back down, and then jet over to the airport to pick up Maddie, because guys, she is on the plane right now. She is on her way to us, the long, awaited arrival of Maddie is going down today in just a couple of hours. At this point, we are literally trying to keep up with Hazy. She has to take 20 steps every one of ours. She's sprinting ahead and doing 360s along the way and dance moves, and we can't even keep up with her pace. Look at her. She's just running. <laughs> she is pumped right now. Got her hiking gear on, ready to rock. Tip top of Diamond Head. Here we come. Gotta take a quick second to say how much I'm stoked about this new camera setup, because if we were vlogging on our old G7X, there's no ability to put on an extra additional microphone. And right now, it's so crazy and windy out here. I've got the dead cat. Sorry, Laz. That's just what they call it. Got the dead cat on here to minimize the wind so that you can actually hear us as we hike this and vlog it. I knew it'd be windy at the top. I didn't know it'd be so windy during the hike, but super stoked on the new camera setup to be able to capture this as well as audio on the way up. I'll say probably most of the wind right now is just coming out of my mouth as I am winded walking up these stairs, but Hazy Girl is light years up there. We're all just trying to keep up with her. She says she's rock climbing right now. We cannot keep up with you. How are you doing this? Okay, come over this side so they can get by. Go over here, we're going into the tunnel. You guys ready? She has ran the entire thing. Not just I running, was worried but like, we were going to have our time getting him up like I'm going to have to carry her. Both her and Brax. I can't keep up with them. I know. I tried to catch up to you guys, which made me ditch Michelle, Daniel, Daniel, Ryler, and crew. They're way back there, so we're just waiting to go through the tunnel together right now. Are there people behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty low clearance in here as well. Just saw a guy actually hit his head. Some of the areas, it dips down a little bit lower. But this is a long walk right through the crater. Very, very cool. It's lit though, literally. We just came out of this tunnel, absolutely amazing tunnel. The next step is going up these gigantic stairs. These are steep. And Hazy just said, okay guys, I'm gonna run this time. You've been running the whole time, Hazy. All right, how far have we come? Oh, look at that, Michelle. <laughs> this is awesome. Working our way up to the top. We're getting there, we're getting there. Just dominated that. Now let's go see this view. Oh guys, it just got real. Whoa. Are we sure? Hazy girl, do not fall in between those. Wow. Are we doing this right, guys? I don't see anybody else here but us. I feel like we're lost in an escape room right now. You guys ready to go up this hey, thing? you know what? This was not bad, even a little bit. This is incredible. I thought she was gonna burn out, but Hazy made it to the top, no problem. Yeah, we ran the whole way. Great. <laughs> guys, look at this. The final ascent to the top. Let's get somebody else in here. It's just me right now, but it's a stunning view. All right, guys, hi. It's me, right, guy. I am here in the Hawaii over the entire island. It is so cool up here. The ocean over there. It is so cool. There is gorgeous Honolulu ocean. It is lit. We made it. Top of Diamond Head, Honolulu, it's right behind us. It's absolutely beautiful, and it wasn't that bad of a hike. I was really surprised. It was honestly not bad at all, you guys. It's a short little hike. There's just a few stairs. Hazy crushed it. If you're worried about bringing kids, if you're worried about she fitness ran levels, the whole thing. none of us are in great shape. And Hazy and Brex literally set the pace for us. So, guys, incredible hike. Definitely recommend it. Was it was beautiful. The views are stunning. I mean, look behind us. There you have it. <laughs> Honolulu, Waikiki Beach. We'll be spending some time there later on this week. Right now, we're gonna take in the view, head back down and go to the airport, pick up Maddie. I'm so excited. And do some snorkeling, so come with us. This is Howie Bingo, baby! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had every intention of flying the drone up here. I brought it, it's in my bag. I thought this would be the most stunning drone footage imaginable. I got up here and it's so windy. I was concerned about that, but I was surprised to not see any no drone sign. And then one of the kids pointed out to me, Dad, can't fly your drone, drone's right there. You guys may have seen in yesterday's video, or two days ago, I filmed the no drone sign and then showed some drone footage, but that was just because, because I'd already flown the drone from Wyoming Bay into the valley before we ever got there to see those signs. So I thought it was just kind of funny putting those two back to back, but I do try and respect that. I do try and not fly it where there are no drone signs, even though it is so tempting with that view to just send the drone up.
Hayden's a little hiker apparently. I need to go fast. Are you jumping if there's mud? Yeah. And then if there's like a cool jump, you do that too? Yeah. There's mud, I can jump on mud. And I see mud everywhere. I'll just jump on mud. If you want, bring will come down. Yeah. Hazy, did you have fun up there at the top of the mountain? Yeah. Is it time to go get Maddie? Yeah. Say, Maddie, we're coming for you. She's a little bit tired because she ran the whole way. No. What? I hurt my leg. It's bleeding because I was because I'm sad. But you're also beautiful, huh? Yeah. Hazy, we doing it? Yeah. Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. What do you got there, sweetie? Just a little deliciousness here. Oh my gosh, look at Isn't that. Isn't it like bowl. so pretty? I don't even want to eat it. Seriously, it's a work of art. We got Dole Whip. Oh, hazy like turtles. Pineapple juice between these guys. I got one of these fruit smoothies, literally just to have it in a pineapple. I just wanted this to show you. Not the vlog life. <laughs> So we had a couple minutes, we just checked Maddie's flight status. We've got like an hour till she gets in. It's 30 minutes to the airport, so we thought we had enough time to stop and have some of this amazing pineapple everything from this fruit stand. They have Dole Whip, like the actual ice cream. They've got acai bowls inside of pineapples. I just had a pineapple smoothie where they shell out the inside of the pineapple, blend it all up, so put it back good. into the pineapple. Everything is a work of art, everything is delicious. And it's so fresh tasting, it's so good. Probably the best start to the day we've had here in Hawaii so far, and it's only getting better as we're also gonna pick up Maddie right now. We're here at the baggage claim. We just found the parking spot. We've been going back and forth between the two main entrances into the baggage claim from the airport. We just saw some people who are getting off of a flight. They said they're coming in from San Diego. I mean, this is Maddie's flight. She should be coming out of this door right here. We're all here to welcome her. Big aloha from Maddie joining the squad. The family is not complete. The trip is not complete. These vlogs are not complete without Maddie. You guys know this better than anybody. She's about to arrive. This is about to get epic. Turns out we were actually in the wrong baggage claim terminal altogether. She is baggage claim 11. Passenger on her plane just told us that they have been moved to baggage claim 11. We're headed there now at the end of this row. I don't know if she's here yet. 10. She's 11. So there's only a few people there. There's not a lot of passengers there yet. <laughs> Aloha! <laughs> that is in Hawaii! <laughs> yes! Woo! That is in Hawaii! Maddie, I love your necklace. Where did you get it? <laughs> Guys, and Maddie is here. <laughs> oh, there goes the water. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? It was great. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, they kept feeding me free snacks, and what? I just listened to Taylor Swift, and it was great. <laughs> and there was no one sitting in the seat next to me. Oh, so that's basically first class. Maddie, well now the freaking vacation can begin. We've literally been like on hold, just like doing like kind of mildly cool activities, waiting for your arrival. It's about to get full on epic now that you're here. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie is here. What do we want to do first? I say we eat. Oh, first thing, sisters pairing oh, off right there. Eat and then snorkel. So guys, I say we eat. I say we hit up a Hawaiian food truck. Then I say we hit up some snorkeling. Are you ready to swim? You ready to get in the ocean right away? Yeah, I mean, yeah, in this. We are going to go eat right now because that's all we've been doing. We're going to do it some more. We're going to go eat and go snorkeling. Anaoma Bay. That it was the right day to put on the external microphone. Crazy windy, on our way to Hanauma Bay right now for some epic snorkeling to finish off this day, but not without a stop at Leonard's Bakery, you guys. <laughs> this is world famous once again in Oahu. If you're gonna get malasadas, it's the only place to go. It's a food truck here right near Hanauma Bay. So we picked some of those up. We actually picked up three of every one that they make. We're gonna go ahead and devour those and head off to the beach right now. We just got here to Hanoma Bay. We're trying to jump in as fast as we can. Turns out it has operating hours, and so this thing closes in 20 minutes. We just want to get in, snorkel a little bit if we can. We are super bummed though, because this is the most gorgeous location we've been to, probably since we've been here. We want to spend a full day here. We just didn't know that they had hours. We didn't know that they'd be closing so quickly. Let's see if we can get in, get a little bit of snorkeling done, finish off this day right. <laughs> we are in Hanoma Bay, Oahu. Snorkeling, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At sunset. Can we go see what there is to see? Yeah. Three, two, one, send it. Well, 
that's that. We got about 10 minutes in of snorkeling, saw some fun fish, but definitely just realized we missed out on a really awesome day here. We're gonna try and come back for sure. Waters are crystal clear. You can see forever under there. We did just book an insane catamaran snorkeling tour. We booked our shark diving and we also booked our helicopter tour. So, so much more of that to come. So we're super bummed, but we know there's more action to be had. We're gonna pack up. There was some fish, huh? Yeah. We're gonna pack up because it may not look like it, but it is windy, it is cold, and we're ready for a hot tub. Welcome. Welcome to Aloha. your home. Aloha. 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 Oh my gosh, today was kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. Maddie's here, you guys. That's way awesome. Maddie's here. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie's with us. We have so many fun things planned, and today was awesome. Diamond Head was beautiful. The view is spectacular, guys. So it was the great. big thing of the day, though, Maddie is here. It's the long awaited arrival of Maddie. We know that every other comment among thousands of comments is, Where is Maddie? When's Maddie coming? No more do you need to wonder. No more do you need to know because she, she is, is here. here. <laughs> We just booked up. We just locked down. Oh my gosh. Shark diving, snorkeling tour, and helicopter tour. Helicopter tour. Polynesian Cultural Center. Can I just say though, we've transitioned from a cage dive with the sharks. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm not going. To an open ocean, no cage dive. Maddie's on board, you guys. Me, uh, Maddie, kinda. Michelle, and Daniel <laughs> are getting in the open ocean <sighs> with sharks. Don't miss it. That's coming up on Monday. Going to be insane. The downside to all these epic adventures that we have is that, guys, there is no availability for us to go live tomorrow, which is on Sunday the day that you guys are watching this vlog. We really, really wanted to go live. We might try and go live at a different time or a different day, but as of right now, the live for Sunday is canceled because we are going to be going straight to a four and a half hour half day catamaran snorkeling adventure. So There's gonna be sea turtles, potentially dolphins, two different stops, a full day, a full Hawaiian a buffet, buffet lunch. You guys are coming with us Woo! vlog style. We will vlog it, so don't worry. You will get the vlog. You will get Sunday's activities vlog, but we will not be going live. Just a note for you guys. Sorry. If we can we'll find a way to do it, we will, time. but we may not be able to do that because then the very next day we have shark diving, the very next day we have Polynesian Culture Center, the very next day we have Maddie going home in Pearl Harbor, the very next day we have helicopter tour. Helicopter tour. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. We're a little tour. higher. <laughs> and you guys are coming along for every single minute of it, so do not miss a beat, do not miss a vlog. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging with us on our amazing vacation. We're so grateful for all 500,000 plus of you. <laughs> so thanks for hanging with us. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, turn on that bell so you know when we upload. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Aloha, everybody. <laughs> Aloha and good morning everyone you guys we're starting out this morning a little bit earlier than we have been We are getting ready for family pictures when you're in Hawaii You have to do family pictures and Michelle's been along with us I don't know if you guys have understood why Michelle's here We brought her here with us to take pictures of our family throughout our whole trip and specifically family pictures We are kind of doing it low-key not super stressful We're just gonna walk out on the back patio by the beach and get our pictures done out there because it's so pretty where we're staying We are packing a lot into today. I just had to show you though the proximity to where we are staying, to where we're taking these family pictures because the Turtle Bay Resort is so gorgeous. There is so much amazing scenery all around it. We don't need to drive off to any crazy location to get these pictures done. We are walking out of our back patio, then walking down this path and we're gonna be taking the pictures just over there. Don't need to go very far to get incredible pictures. As you may not recognize Daniel, he shaved his entire beard just for today's snorkeling adventure and Monday's shark tour. Like I said, we are packing a ton into today. We're gonna be doing family pictures to start. We're gonna head off to church for a quick minute. And after that, we're gonna jet off to our four and a half hour catamaran snorkeling adventure. It has two different snorkeling stops. It's going to be a jam packed day. Then we'll head back home to the hotel, grab some dinner along the way. Join us, starting off with family pictures. This is the reason that Michelle's here. This is the reason we brought our family photographer who happens to be my amazing sister. And this is how we bang him. Crazy windy again today, first thing in the morning. We're going to pick our spot for these family picks. But you know what, that's the beach pick. It's gonna be wind blown, it's gonna be just ocean breezy, that's how it is. That's what we're experiencing here in Hawaii. This location is unbelievable, and we literally just walked down the path behind our patio, right off our back deck, and we are here. This is where we're gonna be taking our family pictures. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Daniel. He's gonna video the behind the scenes. Michelle's gonna get doing her thing, taking these family pictures. It's going to be gorgeous, you guys. Out of pictures. Good. 
How are your feet? Hey, how are the photos, man? Good. Turned out pretty oh, sick? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Every single photo. Can I hit rock? Oh, I look so weird. Guys, look at this. You, you may not recognize this guy. This is my sister's husband, my brother-in-law, Daniel. <laughs> Uh, he's been with us this whole trip. If you go back and watch some of the footage, he had a gigantic beard until now. <laughs> he shaved it just for snorkeling. Just for snorkeling and shark snorkeling. Yeah, my favorite thing in the world, but the water keeps getting in. I tried a ton of stuff and <laughs> he played with it the first it. couple days, but the water was getting in and he said, I'm gonna shave. I was like, no way you shaved, dude. That's like years of work. And he's like, no, I'm that committed to snorkeling. I'm shaving it. So guys, he committed. This is for snorkeling right there. That's a massive thumbs up, dude. Nice job. <laughs> Goodness, who is this pretty girl? We just wrapped up family pictures, the most epic family picture taking session we've ever had. The scenery was stunning. Everything was cooperating except the wind, but I think it looks kind of fun when you have the windswept hair, beach style. Michelle Madsen Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> is a klutz. <laughs> Um, <laughs> at Michelle Madsen Photo, go give her a follow, you guys. She is the one taking all of our pictures. She happens to be my sister, which is amazing and really cool, but she is so good. We would have her out every single time, even if I didn't know her. She's so freaking good. <laughs> so go, actually, I wouldn't. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not playing that. <laughs> Love her to death. You freaking crushed it. You always do. Your pictures are the best. And what she does with them after the fact, the editing and just perfecting them is next level, you guys. Unreal. Super stoked and proud of her and so happy to have her here with us. Can't wait to show you guys the full picture reveal. Obviously, she's not gonna spend the rest of her time in Hawaii editing those. We'll get you a few samples, but look forward to the full picture reveal probably when we get back from Hawaii. We'll give you a few of them today. Before we head off to church for one quick minute, we had to do one last picture, one very important picture. You guys know the Ravelli sent us these balloons clear from Utah all the way to Hawaii, hand delivered to our front Door. We got to memorialize that with a sick pick. 500k, you guys. This is for all of you. Check it out. And then, Maddie, can you can try to put your face in it too. 500k! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Thank you. Yeah, these are cool. Okay. Good, thank you. I'll edit that. All finished. We are just going to go to church and then we're going to head off to our snorkeling tour, which we're so excited for. Alright guys, we just arrived at our snorkeling adventure, but something looks off here guys. Are you gonna go snorkeling in those clothes? Uh, no. Okay, well let's hurry quick, real, let's change, right? Oh, much better you guys. Okay, now we can go snorkeling. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it on? I don't know why. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so our catamaran just pulled up and we're about to go on some adventures snorkeling in the ocean. Wow! <laughs> Come <laughs> with us baby! Yeah, get some! It's official, we are about to set sail on the open sea right now. We're loaded up on this catamaran. This thing is legit. It is stacked top to bottom. There's a kitchen inside. We've got a full lunch coming. Drinks are complimentary. They gave us a fun snack bag. we got everything we need for a fun day outside. It's gonna be cloudy, it's windy. Right now it's kind of lightly raining. We will see. Just got a message, by the way, that our shark tour was canceled due to extreme weather. Trying to reschedule that. Hoping that the rest of the week doesn't fall apart because I guess a storm front's coming in. It's gonna be pretty gnarly weather for the last few days of the week here, but we are gonna make the most of it, have the maximum amount of fun. Starting off with some sick snorkeling right here in the Pacific Ocean, two separate stops, and a full afternoon of adventure on a sailboat coming your way. Set 
sail on the ocean. We are, guys. Open sea. Look at this. It is open sea. This is absolutely amazing. Did you already tell them about the shark tour? I mentioned briefly that the weather was... I feel like the weather is not super ideal today. I wish it was a little sunnier. Positive it is kind of amazing just being out here. Yeah. Like, out in the Hawaii waters. Like, it's so pretty. Rex, is this one of the coolest things you've ever done, dude? Yes! So right here is really wet. It's called the splash zone. When it it's hits really a little... wet and slippery. When it hits a wave, it just splashes up on you? Like oh. <laughs> it's like you're cuddling a stranger without that beard. <laughs> This is incredible. As you sail out into the literal open ocean, open waters, they got drinks for you, they got snacks. Look at this, they're bringing drinks to us right now. Kids have got some 7-Up, some ginger ale. Having a great time out here on the ocean. It's a little bumpy every time we catch a wave. The kids just love it. Whoa! Doing little mini impromptu photo shoots. We're all wearing Rad Swim today. Rad Swim hooked us up with some matching swimming suits for the entire family. Literally, boys, girls, men, women, and children. Everybody's got on the same suit today. Super Rad Suit. Thank you, Rad Swim. All right, guys, we just saw a whale. Just saw the blowhole just shoot up a little spout of water right there. It was like right through there. We're trying to see if we can get a little bit closer. It's like a little baby one, it felt like. You just gotta look for the, all you'll really see is the water spout up like that. It was hard. You had to be looking like right then. <laughs> I love that lunch is like a favorite. We've just about arrived at our snorkeling location. We just literally pull up anchor in the open ocean. They drop the ladder down the middle and we head in and snorkel. I know you guys have noticed because there have been a lot of comments about where we got our snorkel gear for this trip. I really wanted to show it to you guys right before we actually used it. For real, for real, for real. We've been testing it out all week. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. We brought it along. They provide snorkels here, but we love it so much. We brought it along for this. So you're going to see us using it here again, but I want to tell you a little bit about it. This is the Sea View V2 from Wildhorn. This is absolutely the most incredible full face snorkel mask we've ever seen. We did a ton of research on these full face snorkel masks before we came. We wanted to go with the top of the line, the best in the business. This is it for sure, Wildhorn. And this is their V2. It's not even on the market yet. It comes out in February, I believe. They've made some major improvements on their V1. Honestly, their first version was the highest rated I could find on anything. So you guys have seen us using them. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like really quick. It is the full face snorkel mask, the 180 degree view. You can see crystal clear all around you. It's got the flow tech for maximum air intake. Honestly, the easiest breathing I've ever seen. This just clicks on. There's so many features in this that I don't even know how to talk about because I'm just not smart enough. We have been so pumped about this. It's got a built-in GoPro mount, which obviously, as you guys know, is very important to us. It just clips in here, faces the GoPro out, gets you incredible shots while you're underwater. But you just breathe naturally. You just breathe through your nose or your mouth as if you would above water, and it works every single time. We're gonna go take them into the water right now. Super pleased. It's Wildhorn. Check them out on Instagram, at Wildhorn. You can go to their website. I'll put all that information in the description if you guys want to check them out. They were nice enough to provide those for us for this trip, and we have loved them 100%. That is a ton. Oh, look at them. Look at them going right there. So, guys, we just went from whales to dolphins. There's a ton of dolphins. I don't know if you call it a school or what. Boy, that is a lot of them. Look at all those little fins popping up. We are just about at our snorkeling destination. We are going to pull up right here in the open ocean, throw down anchor, walk down the middle of this catamaran, get into the water, and see what we see. Are you ready, Rex? Kind of. Are you ready to jump into the ocean and do this thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you just walked down these steps and into the bluest water. Oh my gosh, this is crystal clear. I just dove in here with no mask on. I could still pretty much see anything. All right, mask coming on, here we go. You guys having fun? Did you guys have fun? Yeah, take your fins off so you don't fall. <laughs> Mom, you want to come back in? She's asleep now, so. Well, you can come in and I'll sit out there if you want. It's 
pretty spectacular. You can enjoy, it's okay. You sure? Tamiko is her name. She caught an octopus that the kids are able to see. Oh my gosh. Look at that octopus. It's like stuck to her in everything. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. That's a big one. Oh! <laughs> oh my insanely awesome. Is she bringing it up here? Oh boy. <laughs> it feels weird. That's so cool. That is so cool. Out to be a magical day though the sun's out that snorkeling was incredible i've never done really, like was it? hazy didn't love it hazy didn't want me to go in the water she's like no mom i don't want you to go well, in. So you can I see kinda, why she was acting a little funny i kind of like forced it a little i made her go in because i'm like sometimes they don't know if they're gonna love it so you just kind of have to like make them go yeah, give them, yeah. and she eventually calmed down but then i panicked that i didn't know where all the kids were so i That's got out because they were all hanging on me on the boat while i was flying the drone anyways eventually we got in the water <laughs> we saw some sea i'm gonna turtles, get out again saw some octopus i saw uh, a lot from up top and then like tons and tons of fish but i just couldn't believe how crystal clear the water is oh, the so deep cool. deep blues i love how we went to where it was kind of deep just had that open ocean feel very awesome there was a lot of caves they said and that's where it sounds like the little turtles come out of the caves they come up clean their so shells was, and stuff that was yeah pretty cool. so we're gonna go to spot number two now have a lunch this is a little more shallow spot a little less ocean life but still a lot of fun That is such clear water, oh my gosh. All right guys, so last time out, mom did not get to do much because Hazy was hating it, so she had to come back in. I got to be with the kids out there. This time it's her turn. She's out there having a good time. They're out there having a great time. I'm up here, Hazy's asleep just over there. I got my Brexit doodle with me as well. <laughs> he didn't want to go back out on this one, so just enjoying paradise right now. They're cooking up lunch, We're gonna have that in a minute. What up, it's me, right guy. Right now, I am in the water and I'm gonna go down thrift. Two, one. Best day of your life? Best day of my life. <laughs> Best day of my life. Best day of my life. <laughs> we just barely finished.
finished up that amazing snorkel tour, you guys. We saw so much stuff. That was amazing. We saw whales, dolphins, turtles, fish, and octopus on our boat. So we saw tons of stuff. And then they fed us, they gave us snacks. Like, it was well worth the money. We had such a great time. We did it at Ko'olina. Also, we ran into the most amazing followers ever. They were there having little girls day. Their husband's stationed here in the military. Super glad we got to meet them. Now we are gonna load up, gonna go get us some more Matsumoto's because Maddie did not get shave ice. So we're gonna go get her one. <laughs> Maddie's first Matsumoto shave ice. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Went with good. the Hawaiian with sweetened condensed milk. That looks like a great flavor combination. It's Definitely. Incredible. Today was absolutely incredible. We are just finishing off with some dinner in our room. Stay tuned, we're about to have a lot more fun on this trip. We are so excited to be here. Thank you to each and every one of you. We love you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. <laughs> See you later. Good morning or aloha as we are learning to say every morning here in Hawaii, you guys. We are starting off our day. Hi, Maddie. Hello. You ready to hit the pool? I'm ready. It's not quite swimming with sharks. So that's what we had on tap this morning, guys. We were supposed to be swimming with sharks. Cageless, cage-free sharks, you guys, because we do care about that stuff. Yeah, it was going to be pretty free. It was going to be amazing. However, winds today, next level, like 20 plus miles an hour, not safe weather conditions to take the boats out, they said, so they had to cancel that. We're trying to reschedule it as of right now. We're hoping later this week, possibly. So what we're going to do in instead is have a nice cool day today here at the resort. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Love you. This is why we come on these vacations. This is why you take the time, energy, effort, and money that it takes to go on a family vacation because of the memories and bonds that you can create in a way here that you can't do anywhere else. So to have crew pick up Hazel and to have her scream, I love you. It's like, that is what we do this for. This morning, Ryler and crew took a walk around the entire resort, went and checked out so much stuff. It was so much fun. Tell them everything you saw. So we went around, we went into two souvenir shops, we went to the pool, we went to the beach. It was just a lot of fun. And I just love that the two of them went off as two brothers exploring just creating those memories you guys creating that closeness as a family that you really can't get when you get caught up in the normal hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life you're just going about your things you're going to school you're doing your homework you've got your piano you've got your basketball you've got so many things getting in the way of just being together enjoying that time together and that's what we love so much about family vacations and that's why we are such huge proponents of family vacations and we believe we're big believers in taking the time and the money to do as many of them as you can because you just create memories there that you can't anywhere else in a way that you can't anywhere Else. Mom's first souvenir was Hydro Flask Aloha Pineapple Sign. Not just any Hydro Flask. Hawaii. I got an Aloha. Oh. One. I got a Hawaii Limited Edition one. Oh shoot, Rex is surfing the way. <laughs> at the halfway part of the vacation and I'm so that? glad because the very first night that we got here I had a dream that the vacation was over and I was like that went really fast. <laughs> that would have been a very fast vacation. So we are officially at the halfway point and we're just sitting here discussing what we want to do the rest of the week because a lot of the plans we had I think might be coming to a screeching halt because of weather but we've got some rain in the still, forecast some high winds it kind of derails a few of the things but we're still in Hawaii we're still in tropical paradise we got Maddie with us she has not even experienced the pool or any of these views or anything like that so we're doing a full pool day today we're gonna hit up the slide just take Have lunch by the views. pool. It's really fun. Take a slow day. We might go do something fun tonight. I don't know. Pretty much just want to eat all the time. 24-7. <laughs> all I want to do is eat. More food, more sun, more fun. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I got to talk to you right now real quick. Oh, I got to go. Oh, that's so cool! I think Casey's about to come! Oh! Oh! 
Guys, I know it makes me look like a little kid wearing goggles, but really, who wears goggles at the pool besides kids? But I love seeing underwater, especially after yesterday when we went snorkeling. You feel like a fish. Hey, you go, should we go underwater and see what's under there? Killing it on the water slide again today. We love this thing. Having so much fun out here. Yes, no! What a sadness for you, right? Hazy on the other end of the pool. Me and crew are gonna race to her. Three, two, one. a little break from the water kids are out we're gonna order some lunch we just ordered some nachos some wings some veggie tacos which one of these things does not belong <laughs> i knew you were gonna bring it up <laughs> you guys i just had to give maddie a hard time because she's very healthy and i definitely try and i usually like it when i do eat healthy so i have made a goal to not eat super healthy on this trip and i am succeeding in that <laughs> i made it a goal to not eat healthy <laughs> Today, so we're just enjoying some time, waiting for our lunch to come. The just sun came fun. out, you guys. Yeah, I know, we got a good. clear skies right here, and it is feeling good. I only like one kind of veggie. What kind? It's broccoli covered in butter. Daddy, what kind of veggies do you like? I have to think about it. Can you come back to me? I like veggie straws. <laughs> veggie straws. <laughs> right, what kind of vegetables do you like, buddy? I love carrots and everything. I have to tell you what I love about Miss Hazy. She's in there shivering, like freezing. And she's just sticking it out, just in there singing. She's by herself, having the time of her life. Cannot slow her or her fun oh, down. you cannot. She's just having a ball in there. I have loved watching she her She like makes trip. friends with everybody too. Everybody's been dying for this moment. Food is served poolside once again. We had to hit up those Kahlua pork nachos. They were so good last time. Maddie's Get veggie tacos. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, those look amazing. Okay. The avocado, like the veggies, they look so good. Gotta go with the classic wings. Still on the fish tacos and grilled cheese. Lunch is served. All right, guys, I cannot overstate how supremely bummed I was when our shark adventure got canceled today. It has been very windy, though. Probably difficult conditions to get out there, so I totally understand it. But the sun has come out, and it's been a beautiful pool day. We had originally planned on building in a lot of these, like, resort days, then activity days, resort days, activity days, and it kind of didn't work out to go in every other like that. Early on in the trip, I got kind of frustrated with the kids because all they wanted to do is come to the pool and go down the slide, and I said, you guys, you can go to any pool down the street and go down a slide. We're in Hawaii. We need to be out in Hawaii. We need to be in the ocean. We need to be in the beach. We need to be snorkeling swimming with sharks doing these crazy things and then it hit me as I was going down the slide with the kids I remember when I came here to this exact resort down that exact slide as a kid my parents had spent a bunch of money to get us out here to make sure we had an amazing vacation and all I wanted to do was go down that dang slide every day all day over and over and over again I realized then it makes sense their kids if they want to be at the pool at least this pool has the most spectacular view of any pool I've ever seen it's got a fun slide it's got delicious food so we are enjoying our poolside day beachside pool day and not regretting it for even a second Still much more epic adventure to come. Okay guys, let's go. <laughs> oh, we cannot do that yet. We had a killer day at the pool today. Just really a ton of fun in the sun, but it really wore the kids oh, out. Oh man, it wore the adults out. <laughs> so we decided that we would do something super chill, but I've just become like that dad. Somehow I've become that dad. I don't know when that happened, but I am just not cool with us chilling in a hotel room, watching TV or taking naps when we were in Hawaii. So I said, guys, get in the car. We'll find a destination roughly an hour away. It gives you an hour to take a nap. You can rest in the car. They knocked out, fell asleep for the entire drive over an hour to the Bayodo Inn Temple. I remember this really being something special when I was a kid. I actually think I probably fought against it when my dad suggested it. I was like, no, that sounds so lame. But then secretly, I really enjoyed it. It's very unique. It's nestled into the mountains here, these lush green mountains. Incredible. Just some nice, relaxed, chill sightseeing for the family because they are very tired. You can see them back there. They're having a hard time waking up. But I just said, you guys, we can rest at home in beds watching TV. Let's get out and do something. 
We just got here, we just walked in, and I am blown away. Oh my gosh, you do get to do it. I've been hearing that gong, and I'm like, do we get to do it? We definitely get to do it. Oh my gosh, we're doing that for sure. Check this out, you guys. How gorgeous is this? The stunning backdrop, the scenery. This is incredible. Look at that. Three, two, one, send it, bro. Creepy Doo, are you doing it, bro? Okay, hold on, this is Creepy Doo. Are you ready? Wind up. <laughs> I just love the sound of it. It's so cool. Absolutely incredible here, just as I remembered. I do remember though, when I was a kid, that if you held your hand out with some bread in it, a bird would come up and eat it out of your hand. I don't know why I have such a distinct memory of that. I don't have any bread though to test that theory, but there are birds, cats, and fish everywhere. But look at this, you guys. I mean, a little something different on our trip to Hawaii. You do a lot of the fun, the epic, the rad, water-based activities, water slides, snorkeling, shark dive, all those different things. But I thought it'd be kind of fun on a chill afternoon to give the kids a nap in the car and then hit up the Bioto Inn Temple for a nice, like, leisurely sightseeing. Right, guy? would you say it's been pretty cool though? Yeah, it's been fun. I'm glad because I think that at first everyone kind of was just like that sounds lame I don't want to do it and it is a little bit different a little bit off of the normal list of things that you want to make sure you knock out when you're in Hawaii this worth checking out Super rad stop at the Bioto Inn Temple. I think well worth it. Kids got a nap. We got to do something kind of chill in the afternoon after a fun day in the sun. We're gonna go find some shave ice. We're gonna go find something delicious for dinner. We're gonna go catch a sunset at the beach, hit up some surf shops. We don't know what's up next, but it's gonna be epic. Oh yeah. <laughs> We are reunited with Michelle and Daniel, Daniel today. Oh, they had a fun day now. today, Hello. going back to Halieva. Ah! Watching surfers, doing some shopping. The kids are ecstatic to have them back. Look how pretty this down. is. The night is winding down here on the middle of our vacation. We are midway point, and there's something we've been wanting to do since we first got here. We drove by this incredible food truck roundup. It is an entire parking lot that is just nothing but food trucks. These are all food trucks down here. Down that way, there's a whole entire other set of food trucks. And when we drove by, we said we were hitting that up one night, if not multiple nights. And then for whatever reason, each night we've not been able to do that. So tonight is the night. We're gonna go around to these food trucks, see what there is to eat. We've heard a ton of great things from the locals about it. So we've been dying to try it out. Tonight's the night. Let's go get some grub. I walked around and got video of all the other food trucks just for fun, but for me, it begins and ends with Giovanni's. I've been wanting to try this place out since we decided we were coming to Hawaii. It is so well known, so famous. My brother's been here a bunch. My brother Sean, if you guys don't know him, at Sean Bingham travels a ton. He comes to Hawaii quite often. He says this is a must hit on our list of food trucks. So Giovanni Shrimp Truck going down for me. Even the food trucks close very early, so a lot of the options for the kids are already closed. We're gonna try and find them a burger, some kind of pizza, something a little more, a little less adventurous. They don't really love the seafood. Take after their mom in that way. Guys, I am so stoked to try out Giovanni Shrimp truck for the first time in my life.
Oh, ice cream, anyone? Oh, wow. Shutting this day down the only way we know how with ice cream all around. Literally, pints for miles here. Everybody's got <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle just spilled. No, Michelle is getting struggling. Late. It is seriously getting late, but what a better way to finish off the day than an ice cream party in our family room here. Michelle is editing hard on the photos over there. Love our little editing party. I'm working on the vlog. We missed you today, though. What were you up to today? What'd you guys do? Well. <laughs> Incredible. We miss hanging out with them so much. So that's why we're gonna spend all of tomorrow with them. Cheers at the PCC Polynesian Cultural Center coming your way tomorrow, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for being a part of our family. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Aloha. Aloha. Guys, I want to say good morning, but what do we say in Hawaii? Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> we are starting off this vlog in an epic way. We are literally at the Volcom Pro at the Bonsai Pipeline. One of the most famous, famous location. surf competitions in the world is going down today. It starts today. So we came here to check it out, see the big barrel surf waves. We're and the so kids excited. just wanted to get a taste of that real life Hawaii surf life, bruh. Should we go check it out? Yeah. <laughs> So we got here, we came to scope out the competition. Turns out it is not favorable conditions for a surf competition. Who knew no. that was possible? So there's a sign up there that says that the competition is off for today. They're gonna do a first call or something like that tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. Boo. Boo, we wanted to see some epic surf, but we still get to come to where they're having the competition. And we got to come when it was so extreme they couldn't even hold the competition. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> it's still cool, but I do want to see real surfers on I know, I want to see some surfers out there. I want to get footage of that. So right behind us, the world famous Volcom House. Check that out. This is where the surfers hang out. This is where a lot of the partying goes down, right here on the Bonsai Pipeline. Like we said, competition turns out. Shut down for today. Still got some epic surf. Still cool to be here, be part of this, be near where it happens, where it all goes down. I do feel like we accidentally, like inadvertently picked the perfect day to hit up the Polynesian Cultural Center because any other, it would be a little bit chilly to be a beach day today if we were out swimming. The wind is insane. These yeah. waves are so oh, epic. Crazy. It's a little bit cold. So perfect time to go to the Polynesian Cultural Center, walk around, experience all the different Polynesian cultures. I'm so excited. I think I've been the most excited for this whole trip is going to the PCC. So yes. I can't wait. I think it's just going to be so fun. Just put us right in that culture. So with the Volcom pipe closed down for the day, we had planned on spending like an hour and a half to two hours there just watching the surf, enjoying taking it in before we went to the Polynesian Cultural Center. So it's not actually open yet. So one of the places that are on our list of places to hit up that we haven't had a chance to hit up is Ted's Bakery. It's raved about by everybody here locally. We've been told in the comments and on Instagram, all of our instant messages, if you gotta try Ted's Bakery, it's just down the road from you, right next to the Bonsai Pipeline. So on the way back, we're stopping here at apparently the locally famous Ted's Bakery for some pies, some grub, before we head off to the PCC. We are just getting here like Brandon told you to Ted's Bakery. I just had to tell you guys all we just sent everyone over to Brandon's sister's Instagram at Michelle Madsen photo we tried to get her to 10,000 if you have not gone over there and checked out her photography go on over she is the one that has been doing all of our photography for us on this trip she has rocked it the pictures that we have of our family I'll have forever like it makes me teary because there's so many pictures that I can't like that I couldn't have got without her taking them at Michelle Madsen photo go check her out she is absolutely incredible and takes the best pictures now we're gonna go in here and take pictures of food <laughs> Finally hit up Ted's Bakery, what'd you think? It was really good. I also shared part of Hazy's little cinnamon sugar donut and it was really good. We're gonna head off to the PCC now and have a full day of fun there.
Right, guys, we just walked into the Polynesian Cultural Center, just got through the gate. Guys, this place is amazing. It's absolutely incredible. I'm whispering because we're walking into Samoa right now, our first island, our first stop is Samoa, and they've started the show. So we're gonna get this underway right now. Grab sticks all day long. Faster you do it, the faster you get it. Wow. Got my diary. <laughs> Holy smoke. <laughs> you wanna see the flame? Yeah. Five dollars. Check this out. I'm gonna show you a couple of things we can do with the leaf. There's a lot more. Go for me again. Start with your family. <laughs> hey, give a big hand. Yeah, groovy. Clap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably never will. There we go. Our very first show of the day, the first island that we visited was Samoa. It was a riot. The guy was hilarious, hysterical. They showed us how to husk a coconut, how to make fire, climb a tree. It was incredible. And that is show number one. So we're off now to Tonga. We're gonna go see our second island, our second stop of the day, second village. So far, could not be having a greater time here. And it is just gorgeous on top of all of that. Entertaining, gorgeous, educational, it's everything. Before we start, I want everyone to sit up straight. One, two, and... <laughs> you talk, come on everybody, give it up for our warrior. You talk, all the way to the back, you talk, say goodbye to your family. Uh. Follow me. We're gonna do this one time. Hold it to the mic. Are you Your turn. Your turn. Come on, everybody. Give it up. I want to be on whatever he's on. Yes, I want to eat. Yeah. Everybody tell him to follow me. Follow me! Because they just let you like let loose, have fun, and uh, I think all of your inner <laughs> Tonga just came out right now. <laughs> what did you think, Hazy? Was that fun? Was that good? You yeah, did of course so you good. Can. You were so intense. Mm -hmm. I just watched the clip again. And I was like, yeah, Oh my gosh, cool. he's been wanting to do this for so long. I've been holding that one in since we booked the trip. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> da -da. Tonga! Tonga! Just guys, wrapped up, Tonga. I think Michelle should say where we're at now. Michelle, where are we now? Fiji. Guys, yeah. Michelle lived in Fiji for a whole summer. Yeah, you lived in Fiji, right? What'd you do in Fiji? I did an internship. I ran a boys' home for kids that had been abused and neglected. How we pretty much have a saint among us. Really? Wow, boys home. So incredible. Michelle's been super stoked to check out Fiji, so we're about to check out Fiji. So far, this is our third uh, island. This these has been the shows are incredible. Ever. I cannot believe this is way better than I ever would have thought the BCC would have been, and everything I would have hoped for. It would like we hyped it up so big in our mind that it's gonna be so incredible, and it is even cooler than it's we expected. Cool. It's way cool.
Just wrapped up Fiji, incredible, so much fun. The dancing was like next level. Those guys were intense. So we came a little bit early to the canoe show. There's like a canoe parade, I think they call it. But you gotta get here early. It's at 2.30, at two o'clock already. Let me show you the seating completely full. We got some behind the scenes access here. We've got a tour guide helping us out, getting us the prime seating. But look at this, we got seating already full, 30 minutes in advance. Should be amazing though. They're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff right through here in a second. Just look at the beauty around me. Like aside from the shows and the culture and the educational experience and the fun and the laughs, it is just stunningly beautiful here. After that incredible canoe parade, what would you call it? Canoe parade, do they call it that? Unreal. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey, there's Maddie. Now we're off to the island of New Zealand. This is one of my favorite ones that I remember as a kid because they do the <sighs> right up in your face. You learn how to twirl these things over there. Kids have been waiting to do that. I don't really know what any of this stuff is called, but we're about to find out. So heading in to the island of New Zealand. We only have three islands left, you guys, including the island of Hawaii. Whoa, whoa. Oh! <laughs> in the face. <laughs> How has it been so far? What do you think of the place, dude? Love it. Brexton's been wearing the little crown that I got when I went up on stage there. What did you think of me going up there? Was that pretty cool? Pretty crazy? Yeah. I thought they were just gonna kill you when you went back on stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> You guys, you gotta do what she does. Don't just spin him, she's gonna show you what to do. <laughs> you have to look at Hazy. <laughs> I want to tell you guys, we have had such an amazing experience. Let's all thank you to this guy right here. His name's Ellie. He has been helping us around every single island here in the PCC, taking us through everything, letting us know all the ins and outs, where's the good places to sit. He has hooked us up big time. We're so grateful to him for bringing us and taking us on a private tour himself, getting everything sorted out for us. It's been such a better experience because of him. Huge shout out to Ellie for making this so much fun, teaching us and showing us everything. It's been such an amazing experience today. We are just loving it. We have two more islands to hit up. Where do we have to go? Hawaii, Hawaii and Tahiti. So we're gonna head to those two islands next. So guys, after New Zealand, we are on our way to Tahiti. If you guys know, if you've been following for a little while, I actually went to Tahiti last year around this time. I was in Moorea. Did not get to see Bora Bora, but I did go to Tahiti. Hi, Michelle. I don't know why I walked over by you. How's Hi, it going? Hi, hello. Okay. <laughs> Just such great coloring out here. Like, look at that. It looks so cool. <laughs> Anyways, off to Tahiti. Maddie, I know uh, one of the places you wanted to go is Tahiti, so I thought, you know what? You worked really hard in school, pulling really good grades, studied really hard for your Thank finals before you came to Hawaii. I'm going to take you to Tahiti. Yes! And we're going to do it right now. Yes! <laughs> okay, we're here. <laughs> Woo! You're in Tahiti! Ah! I'll hide it from the rain. You cannot visit the Polynesian Islands without getting a tattoo. Tazi's first up. Hey, stand very still. Oh, 
Actually, we need one on my forehead. No, you need one on your forehead. <laughs> Brexton's getting the one I want to get. Hey, Brexton. Oh, Brexton, that is so sick. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, does it hurt? Oh, oh, it's worth it. Feel the burn, feel the pain. So oh. dramatic. Oh, Wait, you what? have no idea. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's okay. that's yeah, perfect. that's Thank pretty you. cool. I want one right on there. This is too Tell perfect. Them your names and where you're from. Mindy from Utah. Yeah! I brought mom a sarong from Tahiti when I was there. They're putting one on her right now for her dance. I literally brought her one home from Tahiti. This is so cool. After Tahiti, we have one island left on our six island or seven island? Six island? Six island Polynesian tour. We have the island of Hawaii, which by the way, Hawaii. we are You're standing on right now. They, yeah, <laughs> it's like you come out of these things, you feel like they're telling you something about this place that exists. You're like, no wait, I'm actually here. I just told Mindy that, I said, I feel like it's like a Disneyland type thing where all of this is fake and they've built up this fake tropical place. And I'm like, man, it'd be so cool to go to a tropical island for real. And I'm like, wait a minute, we're actually in Hawaii. This actually is a tropical island. So we're gonna go visit our last spot on the tour, which is Hawaii. That will be all six islands in one day and then we prepare for the luau which, which is, is where we plan to eat everything probably the biggest and greatest part of this entire adventure is the luau they have a show there and then they also have the night show which is supposedly the greatest show in all of hawaii which i don't think you can video so we'll try to bring you a little snippet of it maybe but just we're not a little bit maybe just a little bit Oh, Maddie has our luau tickets. Those are so important, you guys. We're about to go have the feast of our lives, the show of our lives. It's still going down here in the Polynesian Cultural Center. We have visited all six Polynesian cultures. We have experienced their culture. We've been to the islands. It has been an absolute dream come true. Probably the coolest thing we've done so far. I think well worth the visit, well worth the money. Maddie, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it was really fun. Now we feast. We've been looking forward to this almost more than anything. It's time to eat. I've even got two plates. The okay, Polynesian Cultural Center Luau is world renowned. It is supposedly, honestly, one of the best in Hawaii, maybe, maybe one of the best yeah. in the world. Maddie just saw a friend here. Uh, Hi. This is my friend. <laughs> uh, now you're on the vlog. Because of the tour guide that we have with us today, he actually used to perform here, used to dance at this Polynesian Culture Center and in the fire dances at night. We're getting a behind the scenes tour of how it all goes down, the fire dancing. This is exclusive, you can't get this, you can't even pay for this. It's just because this guy is such a stud and hooked us up with this tour. Now at the Breath of Life, I think, yeah. Yeah. Ha Breath of Life show. It's a fire dancing show, but this is great seating. We are super stoked. This is supposed to be like next level production here. Really cool to get the behind the scenes tour to start things off. Really cool to see all of that, how it all goes down.
<laughs> Where's Maddie? <laughs> She's hiding in her Taylor Swift cat pajamas. Show them the little ears. <laughs> Meow. Meow. We wanted to close this at the Polynesian Culture Center Aww. to wrap up the perfect day. But guys, I burned through four batteries at the Polynesian Culture Center. Now, if I'm telling the truth, because Minnie's giving me the look, I actually brought two dead batteries because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I burned through two batteries. I didn't say and I it. I brought two did. dead batteries. Anyways, batteries died just during the fire show, which was spectacular, by the way. But we're back at the hotel. Uh, Kids are in bed. It's super duper late. It's super late. What do you think of the PCC? That good, huh? <laughs> Bad time for a yawn. Today was absolutely incredible. Probably one of the highlights for me that I was looking forward to the most was yes. this. It was amazing. It was like actually like really informative, but they didn't do it like in a boring fall asleep type of way. It wasn't like you're at school, but you learned a ton. Like they were so funny. They were so funny and had such a great sense of humor. It was funny that Brandon and I both got pulled up on stage. That was yeah. awesome. And that crew got the little plate that they made out of uh, Our, yeah, the all leaves the and stuff. Bands. We scored. We really time. had an incredible experience. It was fun from top to bottom. Snacks, food, people, entertainment. It was like a hundred percent the whole day. It was so great. Super sad today's over because that means also that tomorrow Maddie goes Guys, home. Guys, don't want to think about it. I don't I even want to think about it. Maddie goes home tomorrow. How is this possible? Like not she fun. just got here, you guys. Oh, it's super lame, but we still have half day of fun with her. Full day yeah. of fun for us. Sorry, Maddie. But half day of fun with Maddie, so we're going to take off in the morning heading to Pearl Harbor. We're going to go check that out with her. It's going to be awesome. See what else we can squeeze into the first half of the day before she has to go home. But first, we got to get some rest, as you can <sighs> see. I'm very tired. Get pumped. Get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. More Hawaii vlogs. <laughs> you guys, we love you. Thanks for hanging with our family once again and thank you for everyone who joins us every single day and leaves such positive comments. Thank you so much for loving our family. We love you guys just as much. So make sure to what Maddie? Mahalo. No. <laughs> like this. No. Okay. Like this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Turn the bell on so you know whenever we upload. <laughs> you guys, we're tired. Like Hiya, this. My love. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. I mean, not that bad. Mahalo. Aloha. Now it's your turn, Ola. Maddie. Say it. Wait, which one? Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. Aloha, everybody. Everyone. Good Guys, morning. Good morning. We are starting off the vlog in a very special place. Time. It is morning. It's Where do you think we are time. to start our day? I'll very first part of the day. Chance. We one. woke up, drove straight here. Should we just? You guys. Yeah. We're getting shave ice for breakfast. <laughs> this is our third or our fourth time? This is third. Third time, this guys. This is third, guys. <laughs> third time. Starting off our day, Matsumoto's. The main reason we are here is that we are in Haleiwa. This has become our favorite town, favorite city in the world, probably. Definitely one of our favorite spots here in Hawaii. So Maddie wanted to come here. As you guys know, she's leaving today, but she wanted to come here, have another shave ice, do a little bit of souvenir shopping before we head out. We're going to go to Pearl Harbor. The sun is just coming out. It's been raining all morning, but we literally came straight to Matsumoto's this morning because that's one of the things on Maddie's list that she wants to hit up twice. And she gets to have that today, and we all benefit from that. Spend the morning in Haleiwa this morning, and we're gonna head down to Pearl Harbor. Oh my god! Oh my god! So everybody wants to help Maddie with her souvenir shopping. I Maddie, haven't gotten one yet. You've got nothing. You did get a sticker last night, right? At that's the PCC? True, okay. That's true. Okay, that does not count. You need a souvenir. And I think it's got to be from Holly Ava, because that's become kind of like your favorite place. Matsumoto's is everyone's Daddy, favorite place. Daddy, it's yeah. super random. You guys, we just Daddy, had a family message come through. People keep seeing us on a Universal Studios commercial. Oh, yeah. We feel so honored that we worked with Universal Studios. They saw all of our videos from our trip last year there. If you guys haven't checked out that set of videos, go over check out that playlist from our trip last year, celebrating so 100K. Yeah. Everyone is tagging us, commenting. They're like, we just saw you on a commercial for Universal Studios. Yes, you guys, we are so honored. There's one of Brandon, and then there's one of Brandon and Ryder on a roller coaster, and it is so awesome. Daddy. We feel so grateful to Universal Studios. Show me your souvenir. Show me your coconut first. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hazy got this adorable coconut purse at the Polynesian Culture Center last night. She's carrying it around, packing her goodies in it. It is so adorable. So is she. I just got a free gift for spending more than $100. Wow, look at that. It's a luggage tag. <laughs> so good! It is bright out here, you guys. It was cloudy and rainy earlier, but that is the beauty of Hawaii and these tropical islands, is that you can have rain, you can have the clouds, but then they clear up and the green comes through in the trees, the sun comes through in the sky. So we've wrapped up our time here in Haleiwa, one of our favorite places on planet Earth, and we are going to head to Pearl Harbor before taking Maddie to the airport and crying our eyes out for the rest of the day. <laughs> got to Pearl Harbor. We're walking in. We were told by somebody. I have food in my mouth. Somebody but, walked up to her and said, you have food in your mouth. She's like, I always have food in my mouth. But they told me, they're like, just so you know, you can't take your backpack in. No large cameras. We're like, all right. If you guys have seen Michelle's pictures of the camera I'm holding, it's fairly large. It's so I'm going to go tuck this away. We're going to get the GoPro.
finish up our time there at Pearl Harbor. That was pretty rad, right, guy? What do you think? Yeah, it was fun. It was uh, much more like reverent and respectful. And at first, I was kind of bummed that I couldn't bring the camera because, like, no, I wanted to get some sick footage. I wanted you guys to be able to hear what we were saying. But really, there was no talking. It was just a very reverent vibe the entire time. You watch a movie at the beginning that really sets the tone. And from there on out, it's just very quiet, very respectful. You take a small boat tour around and go see a memorial out there, USS Arizona. But definitely did not need to it bring. It was really awesome. I loved it. I think it, I think it taught the kids something. I think that they were really impacted by it. Stuff too that I didn't even know. Yep. And I choked up in tears a couple times during the movie, just thinking about all of the hard fighting that went into that, the people's lives that I were lost. I just can't even imagine being here and having all of that happen. Like, oh, I, can't, oh. I just can't even imagine it. Back to the car now. Now we've got to take Maddie to the airport. We're gonna drop her off, send her home. She's going back to San Diego. It's not that bad. It's yeah, kind of like a trade off. Yeah, her weather kind of matches here, probably. <laughs> off to the airport with Maddie right now. She's gonna say aloha to Hawaii. <laughs> Yay! I love you. I thought I would have a minute to like walk in and walk through the airport with her, take her to the gate. You walk in these doors from the parking lot and literally the Here line is right there. Like she's checking in right there. She's already checked in. She's going through security. So yeah. guys, this is goodbye to Maddie. Or do we say aloha? Because that's hello and goodbye. So if I tell you aloha, it won't really matter. I don't know if you're coming or going. Yep. So aloha. <laughs> aloha to Maddie. We're going to miss her. You guys are going to miss her, but she's coming back soon for something. Hope. We we're talking about in the parking lot. We don't know what, but she's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Often that there used to be times that we put right her on the plane the and I would cry because I didn't know when we'd see her again. But I'm like, spring break's around the corner. I know we're gonna see her soon. It was. I feel like it was a really good drop yeah. off. I feel like she had fun. So we decided to come out here close to the airport and we're at this amazingly beautiful. We are lunch. on Waikiki Beach. We are literally eating at Duke's Waikiki. Our table is the table closest to the ocean. Fantastic. And when we finish this meal, we're gonna go swim in the ocean. We're gonna go swim at Waikiki Beach. Watch the sunset. Hang out here for the rest of the day. So join us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be fun. Why didn't you get the big one? Just finished up our dinner, got changed into our suits, and we are now on Waikiki Beach, walking through the sand. Just realized that's Diamond Head. That's what we hiked earlier in this trip. If you haven't checked out that vlog, go back and watch it. It was phenomenal, but our view from up there was basically looking back at all of this. We're now down here. Gonna go for a swim in these beautiful ocean waters. Right now, you are literally standing on world famous Waikiki Beach. You ready to get in that ocean, dude? Yep. We're learning this about Hawaii in general, but it was just pouring rain a second ago. We were standing in the hotel lobby, super cloudy. Did not look like it was gonna be like a swim day. And now, and now look, here we are. Clear skies, no rain yeah, at all. I don't see any clouds that are too threatening. So but in like in two seconds, it could be dumping on us. So we are here, world famous Waikiki Beach. Kids are swimming in this ocean. It is as crystal clear water as you can imagine. The waters are super calm, so there's no risk of high surf, things like that. We've been experiencing at the other beaches on the North Shore. So we're just gonna enjoy the rest of this day here, swimming in this beautiful ocean, gorgeous location. And probably get rained on a few times, but hashtag Hawaii, hashtag worth it, hashtag Oh, wowie. Oh my God. Me and our rag out here at Waikiki <laughs> Beach. He just found me a pair of goggles. He's got his goggles. We're gonna go see what there's to see. Three, two, one, go. send it. Just like we said, the rain would be back. I don't know if you can even tell. It's raining right now. Raining pretty good, actually. But man, the place to be is in the water. You don't notice? You don't care. See people running for cover, covering themselves up with towels. The rain is back, but the sun's still out. This is just weather here. Rain bother you, bro? Nope. <laughs> what, is it raining? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. I don't even know what's raining. I'll say this, the only thing that gets me down about the rain is I really want to fly my drone just down this coastline, get some of those scenic shots. But I don't dare take it up because it does not last with clear skies for more than 10 minutes before it starts raining again every single time. So I'm nervous to do that, but if I get a break long enough, I'm gonna send it up, get you guys some sick drone footage. All right guys, I'm freezing and I don't wanna get in. How, how do you freezing? come? We're in Hawaii. So how do you come to Waikiki Beach and not get in the water? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mom, Hawaii, baby. Feels good. I probably should take my bun out now. Has it been Hawaii? It has been Hawaii.
<laughs> yeah, that's it. That's oh, my beach, oh, babe. This isn't a swimsuit on a photo shoot. So many family vacations I have missed out. Not got in the water because I'm like, oh, I don't want sand. I don't want to get wet. No, no more. Oh, yeah. Shark! <laughs> it's just your floaties. <laughs> shark, 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 shark. shark. Ooh. Hey, Rex. <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> Rexy Doodle, how do you feel about Hawaii, bro? Do you love it? Yeah. Woo! Like a camera. <laughs> you guys, we're playing cute hazies right here, playing with crewing. Put on the kids' goggles. Look how ridiculous we look. They look so silly. Ah! <laughs> I got my goggles on. <laughs> She looks creepy. Hey, okay, fine. They take those off Rex, and I'll wear them. Rex, you wear them? Body surf. Body surf it, baby. Go, crew, go. Take it, crew, take it. Here it comes. Not a wave. Cute. He's up there playing with Hazel on the beach. Bean oh, darling. Like, He's normally the one out here, but he was nice enough and says, Hey, you know, you go play in the water with the kids. I don't normally get out here, but I am oh, loving it. Amazing. Let's go oh, farther. Want to go farther? Let's go farther. Come on. I got you. I got you, okay? I know. Dad and Hazy are playing so cute. Oh, wow. You guys are getting quite the base there. You're pretty good at this. How about you just stay here and play and I'll go back out in the water? <laughs> I like skiing out there. That is I know, so it's fun. Super fun. Hazy, are you having fun? Yeah. Could you turn this way? Turn, turn, turn. Okay, with the rock, right oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, shark doo 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 doo. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 I want to take a minute to soak this in. We are in Hawaii right now. Maddie, we miss you. It looked like it was not going to be a good day today. It turned out to be kind of sunny. We feel bad having any fun without you. You ready? Okay. Now I'm going to come in here. Let's just do a cheese to start with, okay, guys? Give me this picture of it. Ready? Cheese. Cheese. It's so sunny. Big Howie Bingo! Big Howie Bingo! One, two, three. This is Howie Guys, we've been wanting this entire time to see a rainbow and we just spotted, Hazy just screamed. Hazy, it's a rainbow. Guys, not only do we see a rainbow, but look at how gorgeous that rainbow is <laughs> across the ocean, across Waikiki, across Honolulu, literally across the top of Honolulu over here in Waikiki. Hey guys, let's get a picture of the rainbow behind us. Come here. Hey girl, here you go, one, two, three. It's Hey, get in here. Oh boy, big sun, ready? Jeez. <laughs> Lots of rocks. Lots of rocks. This. Now come back to the rainbow. Oh, and everybody else. Oh, yeah. We are so obnoxious. Oh, yeah. But guys, when you see a rainbow in Hawaii, it's like a dream came true. Look at that. It goes across this behind those buildings and back down there. Oh my gosh, it's literally moving right now. Look at that.
hold on, I don't want to take the spotlight off of the sunset here. I am not the highlight here. I'm going to put myself to black there so you guys can see. Spectacular sunset going down here at Waikiki Beach right now. That is the sun setting behind us at Waikiki Beach in Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh yeah, you Got can't even guys. see us. <laughs> but you, want, you don't want to see us, you want to see that sunset. This is We're the just... only sunset we've caught since we've been here. It is the only sunset we've been able to witness dip into the ocean. On our side of the island, you don't see it going to the ocean, but on this side, you can watch it set right into the ocean, guys, and it's glorious. There are people lined up by the hundreds down this entire shoreline, watching the sunset, filming it, taking it in. If I had a phone, this would be my screensaver. <laughs> sure. Incredible to have this moment together as a family here and to share it with all of you. So as the sun has set, it is now nighttime here in Honolulu. So we're Guys, walking the streets. We've never experienced this. It's beautiful. I feel like I'm in Vegas. This Jimmy is not. Oh, Jimmy Choo's. Let's run. Run before she's asking for shoes. There, guys. Guys, we're walking the streets of Honolulu right now. Just hitting up the shops. It is actually the perfect weather out here. Gorgeous night. Guys, so today, many exotic, luxurious shops that we've never shopped at before. Yeah. Uh, you guys, they have like a Tesla place, Coach, Tiffany's. Every big, huge thing I've never shopped at is here. Really cool. Guys, if you notice an extra pep in their step, it's because mom just found the Lulu store that I was trying to avoid her seeing. The kids told her about it, and she is now running back to it. She has a serious problem, Why you guys. <laughs> Today was absolutely incredible. I just barely finished eating another ice cream cone. I, I had an ice cream amazing. cone and like a moochie pop, they called it. I don't know what it was, but it was delicious. Today was absolutely fantastic from top to bottom. Other than now, we miss Maddie. Super sad. Maddie, we miss you. You guys, oh my gosh, it's so hard it's to have so any fun sad. without her. But she can still live through the vlogs like you guys, and we will be with her again soon. Today has been one for the record books. Pearl Harbor for the morning. Dropping off Maddie. Waikiki Beach during it's the day. amazing, you guys. At sunset. Strolling the streets of Honolulu. Guys, this is a great, great. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for being a part of our family. We will see you all tomorrow. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Do not miss tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow oh. we are going on a helicopter tour. Waterfalls and valleys all over the island. It's going to be insane. Two yeah. separate helicopter rides. Me and mom are going to go with some of the kids. Michelle and Daniel are going to go with some of the kids. So everybody gets a turn. We're doing awesome. doors off. I'm taking the camera, which means you're coming with. So do not miss that vlog. We will see you guys tomorrow. Aloha from Honolulu. Aloha and mahalo. Good night, everybody. Guys, that's the Magnum PI chopper there. That's the sick looking one. Uh -huh. Get to the chopper. Look at this. Guys, this is what we're getting right now. Okay, we gotta open this vlog up. You ready? Aloha. Aloha. Good morning. Today is starting off a little more epic than any day we've had this week. If you can Way see behind us, there is a helicopter. We're about to get on it. We're, we're gonna take a ride on it and we're so excited. We're gonna go do a tour of the waterfalls, valleys over the island. It's gonna be so insane. We cannot believe it. The way we've gotta work this to get the doors off so we can get you that sick, sick footage is I'm gonna be in the front with Hazy right next to me, mom in the back with crew, and then a separate helicopter ride from Michelle and Daniel who are gonna be taking up Rye Guy and Brex. We're gonna bring you both chopper rides. That's how we're starting this day. Our last full day in Hawaii. This, this is one way to end the trip. This puts the wow in Hawaii right here. It's like a little fanny pack. This is a little bit of irony here. The guy who took me on my very first ever skydive, the person who took him on his first skydive is our pilot. How random is that? <laughs> Yeah. Hazy, you ready to go on the chopper? Creepy dude. This guy's gonna take care of us, bro. <laughs> yeah. This is what we're going on right now. Holy cow. Okay, follow me, bud. Push it up and push the door out. Hey. You ready to fly? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have that on your hand?
coolest thing ever. Did you love it? All right, guys, we just got back from the plane. It was so fun. Now the other guys are going, but it got a little rainy, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. We survived the helicopter tour. It was unreal, unlike anything I've ever done, no joke. In fact, I gotta say, I have to admit, when we signed up for this, I was like, I don't know how that's gonna be that much different from flying my drone. I get drone footage all the time. It is infinitely different. It does not even come close. Now it's time for Michelle, Brexton, Daniel, and Rye Guy to go. They're loading up the chopper right now. Rye Guy, you gotta run, buddy! That was so cool when we went up because when it was raining, we could just see like, it was like a sheet hanged from the sky and it was just pouring, pouring. It was cool, it was so cool. I honestly think the clouds and the rain added to the experience. Okay, here they go, here they go, here they go. Guys, here go Daniel, Brexton, Ryler, and Michelle up for their helicopter tour. Hazy, did you love it? <laughs> This might be the most epic merch pick we've ever taken right here. Shaka! Yeah, baby! Yeah. Whenever I do this, I have to do this. I can't just hold it. I have to be like... Everyone is back huh, safely amazing. on the ground. The greatest, most coolest, most rad, is most epic experience of our trip here to Hawaii. Definitely top highlight of my whole life. That was, that was unreal. If you get a chance to do it, you gotta do it. Paradise Helicopters who we went through right here on location at Turtle Bay. It was absolutely unreal. And I think the kids loved it just as much as we did. We didn't get to go with Brexton and Ryler, but it was really cool to hear the stories of Michelle and Daniel when they got back. It's it was very similar fun. to us. We both wish that we had audio recordings of the actual flight oh because it was gosh. so hilarious. Casey just kept talking in the headset to everybody, saying who she loved, how much Michelle, she loved being on a helicopter. Daniel. Every time they would say, look over there to the right, here's a waterfall, she'd go, we know we're in a helicopter, I love crew. And apparently Brex was doing the same thing, just <laughs> chatting it up the entire time. And Ryler and crew were both giving super awesome insights, asking questions, pointing out things that they saw, top to bottom. Uh, great start. Coolest today. experience of this entire trip. And I'm glad that we got it in, I'm sad it's on our last full day here. But at least we did it. But we did it and it was amazing. It's amazing. It's gonna be hard to top. We worked up quite the appetite on our adrenaline filled helicopter tour of the island. So we are back in Haleiwa, just down the road. We're going to a fun place called, I think, Kono's. I gotta look that up. Supposedly well known for its 12 hour slow roasted pulled pork. We're gonna get some breakfast burritos, some sandwiches, stuff our faces. I don't know if you can tell, it's not the clearest of days. Pretty cloudy, pretty rainy. Might be one of those chill days. Glad we got the helicopter tour in though, because that's gonna be the highlight for sure of the entire trip, but certainly today. All right guys, what does everybody think about Konos? Why didn't we find this place like five days ago? <laughs> so good. I'm already dead. <laughs> you loved yours. <laughs> Michelle and Daniel, I think. <laughs> Daniel wasn't even doing this for acting. That was just part of the game. 
All right, you guys. So we had an amazing meal. Totally delicious, you oh, guys. the meals are amazing. It was unreal. But you guys, you can tell, as you can see, it's just been like windy, stormy. So unfortunately, you guys, the shark tour was officially canceled. Not going to happen at all. No chance to reschedule because we leave tomorrow morning. So I am not going to get to swim with sharks here. There's the number one thing on my list. But I gotta say, the helicopter ride lived up to the hype and then some. So I'm feeling yeah, like we still got something amazing. epic. So we decided that instead of the shark tour, because that was canceled, we would do the next most epic thing. And that is... Go to the temple. Go to the temple. Thank you to Michelle and Daniel for watching our Seriously? kids back at the hotel so that Cute. we could come run and do this. This is something that we did as a date for like the first 10 years of our marriage. We only went on a date once a month and it was to the temple. So very symbolic, very special to us to be able to come and do that on a date here. We got to go on one date in Hawaii and we did it to the temple. It's kind of amazing. We've had a streak of going to the temple every month for the 13 years that we've been married. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. It's something we love to do and enjoy it. And to it. be it's able awesome. to do it here in Hawaii is next this level, This is the guys. first time I've ever done a temple outside of Utah. Not quite a shark tour, but still incredible. And huge thank you to Michelle and Daniel. Yeah. Thank you for watching the kids. You probably you are hanging on by a thread there, so we're gonna get back to you. <laughs> we will come relieve you. We'll finish up this last full day in Hawaii, right? Come swimming? <laughs> hey, how was it? Daddy, yeah, it's pretty warm. We're Daisy, stay here. Can I come swim with you? Yeah, but Dad, give yeah. me some right now. Get yeah, in my swimming right, right now. Get in your right now. Okay, I'm getting in right now. I don't care if it's raining. Last day in Hawaii, we're swimming. <laughs> Pouring rain, <laughs> like literally. Pouring rain, storming. This is our last day in Hawaii. But we are not going out without a fight. We are gonna swim in the pool. We're gonna enjoy every last second of it. <laughs> Michelle and Daniel, thank you for watching the kids. <laughs> this is how we bring them in Hawaii, baby. Last day, storm, rain, or shine. We're having a good time. And that just rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You want to say out? <laughs> time in your life in Hawaii. You did it, Rexy! Oh my gosh! Rexy, look at that. You did that. The entire length of the pool. No help. No floaties. You officially learned to swim in Hawaii, bro. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The time has come. Not only is our Hawaii trip winding down, but our time with Michelle and Daniel uh, has come to so an much end. Fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> it has been Hawaii, you guys. Here. They have made this trip extra amazing, you guys. No yes. joke. Like, not just from the incredible photography from Michelle. It has uh, been next level, you guys. Our difference. thumbnails have seen a difference. <laughs> Our Instagram has been next level. Like, everything. Plus, Thank you so much. something that we get to keep for the rest of forever. They're yes. memories that we have captured. Mindy by literally this got emotional girl. talking about that the other day. So, she's very excited <laughs> about that. They're also just like, they take fun to the next level. The energy is at the next level. And they were yes. so amazing to watch the kids. And the kids <laughs> love them. So, they actually enjoy the vacation more 
than if they were just stuck with mom and dad. They've got awesome and Michelle. Every time it was like, are Michelle and Daniel coming? Yeah, they're coming. Can we go in their car? <laughs> yes, you can. But guys, Our car's fun. Their car is the party car. <laughs> there was one day that they weren't with us. You guys know this. And something incredible went down. But I've got to tell you something even more exciting than probably everything you've seen you this entire week. You guys are going to be so excited. These two just started a YouTube channel. <laughs> you asked for it, you wanted it, you demanded it, and you got it now. So, guys, I will link for you their very first video, which is the rest of that dramatic rescue. These guys rescued a freaking hiker in the mountains of Hawaii, and I'm like, you need to make a channel out of that video. You gotta go see it. <laughs> go check it out. I will link it for you guys right here. Click on it, go check out their channel, subscribe. There's gonna be so much more to come. Guys, they're about to spend three weeks in Europe. They have so many more exciting adventures oh, coming up. Oh my gosh. All the behind the scenes of Michelle's photography. So much to be seen there. That is just a taste of what you can expect to see on their channel. So go check it out. Big Make sure you things. subscribe. Big things. Big things coming. Big things Big are coming things. your way. You guys go over, subscribe to their channel, turn on the bell so you know whenever they upload, they're going to have lots of fun stuff on photography, life, and a ton of fun. So make sure you go check them out. We're going to miss them. So make sure you tell them in the comments how much you love and appreciate their support on this trip. All of Michelle's <laughs> pictures, all of the work that they've done to make our trip a better trip because they are the greatest. And Michelle and Mindy are weird together. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got to go. They're actually staying here for another couple days. Maybe they'll post a video about that. I don't know. Go to their channel. Check it out and see. We got to pack up. We got to get ready to go home. Headed to Honolulu for the night. We love you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Love you guys. We'll Thank ya. you. We love you. Bye. Bye. We are winding down the day. Officially closing out our Hawaii trip. Guys, this is goodbye it's to Hawaii. It's super sad. You guys, after this, it's back to reality. <laughs> I told you guys this whenever like before we left that I try to do the laundry on the trip if we have nothing going on at night I'll just throw in a load of laundry because why not it's easy I've done that the whole trip and then I had to fold it all and everything so that's all done It makes it a little bit better to go home lots of packing to be done We've got to clean this place out We've got a lot to do because we are leaving early early in the morning straight to the airport We're leaving at 7 a.m. From this hotel to the airport flying home forecast calls for snow every day this week Uh, Yeah for like five days straight leaving the sandy sunny beaches of Oahu for Dang the it. snowy snowy slopes of Utah it has been incredible here. We will see you again one last time in Hawaii tomorrow morning. So come back, join us on the flight home. Thank you guys for making this the most epic, insane adventure. Aww, you guys the most are incredible rock stars. vacation. Thank you so much for all the messages and comments. We love you. Thanks for all of the likes on our videos. Make sure to like this video too. Yeah, sure. Subscribe if you haven't. You should try it out. See you what should. It's like. We do awesome stuff. It's not always Hawaii, but it's usually pretty rad. We love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. One last time from right here in Hawaii. Aloha! In this case, that does mean hello and goodbye. Mm -hmm. Hello to the vlog, goodbye to Hawaii. We're packing up right now. It is early, sun is not even close to coming up yet. The kids 30. are doing fantastic. Mom's got everything packed, lined up by the door. I'm just gonna go load it out and we're gonna say goodbye or aloha to Turtle Bay, the island of Oahu. Bummer. It's a major bummer, but we do have a lot of fun things to get back to in life. Yeah. Mom was just talking this morning about the kids' bedroom remodels and all the fun things she's got in mind for that. So um, excited. Kids gotta get back to school. These kids are actually very excited for their room, so I'm gonna get loaded in this car. We're gonna get off to the airport and we're gonna get out of here. How's it going here, guys? We getting all ready? Yeah. Look at that hair done, looking handsome. Hazy girl looking beautiful. Got our Moana. We got all our Suvies. Got our necklaces, bracelets, beads. All of us have the exact same bracelet. We are ready to rock the cotton candy bracelet. Got our Nutella. Don't forget that. Priority number one. I'm peeking this in my bag. <laughs> Saying goodbye to the spectacular view just outside our door. It's the ocean, it's the Pacific Ocean. It's the ocean surrounding the island of Oahu. It's Hawaii <laughs> and we're leaving. Kind of forgot how perfectly this all fit. Time to take it home. Hey guys, here we go. Shuttle's coming. Let's load it up. Got our bag. Heading home. Bags. We are crushing it with the airport process these days. Like, just crushing it. 
So apparently there's something called the gold lanes here in Hawaii, oh, which children. is so you gold. Can go in the gold lane. Which I think they do because it does take longer, like because our kids have to take off shoes or just do different things to get to the security. Well, just holding up the strollers. So, so it alleviates these guys, but it also gives us, and it gives us the chance to jump and get in our own so line. We made it, we arrived, we got the rental car returned. We are at the Honolulu International Airport, walking to our gate. We are in the E-Terminal, E-Gates, and you get to do this cool walk outside. Guys, everything's outside. We went to church, and all the classroom hallways were outside. I love that it's open air, tropical style. Walking through the airport, right inside the airport. I'm telling you guys, we are going to severely miss this place. It's been absolutely incredible. Guys, would you say best trip of your life? Oh my God, Best my trip of my entire life. <laughs> That's how we bring them, baby. Hawaii style. Hey guys, we're loading the plane right now. We're getting out of here. We're saying peace out or aloha to Hawaii. What was your favorite part of the trip that we do? PCC. PCC was insane. Absolutely loved it. Right, guy? Favorite part of the trip? Obviously the helicopter tour. The helicopter tour was so freaking legit. My second was helicopter tour. Favorite part of the trip as we're heading out saying aloha to Hawaii. What was your favorite part of the trip? The helicopter tour. Brexton loved the helicopter tour. Like no I joke. I want to be a pilot. <laughs> He wants to be a pilot after the thing. Dude, I love how much you loved it. Mom, favorite part of the trip? I would have to say my favorite part of the trip was probably snorkeling or the helicopter tour. Or the snorkeling was amazing. It was kind of amazing. I just don't feel like I've ever like enjoyed it that much, so maybe that's why. I mean, helicopter tour is amazing. Who gets to do that? Yeah, that was amazing. So it. that was cool. What was your favorite part of our vacation? Uh, a hotel. The hotel? Like the water slide and the pool? Yes, I love the hotel. You love hotels, huh? Yeah. Your favorite thing on earth. <laughs> sad as it is to leave. I'm like a little excited to get back on our schedules, get back to like regular meals, not eating out at restaurants, as fun as it is to eat out at restaurants. I'm just excited for like normal life again, which I know that sounds strange, but I'm excited. So guys, the kids have all said what their favorite things were. I am having a hard time even remembering all the things we did. It was such a long trip. I totally forgot we did Diamond Head, Waimea Falls. Like that was way earlier in the trip. I'm probably gonna go helicopter tour. No, it would've been the sharks if I got to do that, but I didn't. I'm gonna say probably helicopter tour. Polynesian Culture Center's way up there. The day at Waikiki Beach was like the perfect Hawaiian day. Like it was just amazing watching the sunset dip into the ocean, spending the day there, blue waters of Waikiki. That was an amazing day. There are so many. I put together a playlist of all of our videos from what we're calling Hawaii. Our Wowie trip. So go check that out. You can relive the entire adventure, relive the whole trip with us. Amazing, magical moments of this trip. Doors are closing. We're taking off. We'll see you guys in Utah. So it's a little bit different here at LAX, a little bigger than we're used to back home. We just got off the plane, heading over to Terminal 2 now, jumping on the shuttle. They're busting us over there. Gonna catch our next plane home. Quick little layover here in LA. And when I say quick, I mean we have just about enough time to sprint there. Kind of have to run. Get on the next one and get home. Greg, could we do? How was that flight? Ugh. Yeah. So I didn't use my iPad the whole time. You watched how many movies did you say? I said four. Four movies. Way more than halfway though. Yeah. Honolulu to LAX. Perfect. That was an awesome first flight. Going in, ready for the second one. It was kind of long, like they did and double this snacks. Airport is cool too, so they gave us a little extra set of cookies. <laughs> We grabbed a quick dinner here in Terminal 2 of LAX. These boys got pizza. Boom. Brexit, how's that pizza, bro? Good. Is ready to go home? Yeah. I'm pretty tired, ready to be home. One last flight, we'll be there. We're getting in, what time? I think we get in at 10.45. 10.45, a little bit of a drive home, get to the car, bags and stuff, probably midnight, but thankfully, works in our favor this time, because Hawaii, like Hawaii time, that's nine o'clock. We are jumping on a jet plane. We are leaving LAX. So we are almost home, you guys. I'm not anxious to get well, home necessarily, but I am anxious. I'd rather be out of an airport. To get home. Is what yeah, I'm saying, yeah. Basically. I'm ready to be home. How about that? <laughs> Wish I was in Hawaii, but excited to get back to life.
Well, right guy, we're home, buddy. How does it feel? <laughs> that pretty much sums up the way I feel about it too. Uh, actually, we got off the airplane and I was just wondering where the lay greeting was. Mom, were you kind of surprised that they didn't have a lay greeting? I was like, Salt Lake City is not great to come home to. But I mean, I you give us off. some salted caramels, that's salt. I did get off the plane and I said, Alo hi. <laughs> We finally worked aloha into our systems and now is no longer appropriate to say it. I'm still doing this all the you time still though. still look ridiculously tan. It is me. not appropriate to be February and be this tan in Utah. Just got to the van and mom just slipped on ice. That's something we haven't seen in two weeks. What is this? What is this foreign frozen substance? just ate it on my well, You face. honestly almost ate it. <laughs> We're looking out for like, puddles. Whoa! But none of them are frozen. We are here. We're back in Utah. I will say this though, not nearly as cold as I expected. Which I'm so My ears are burning. It is like 35-ish degrees, so not that bad. Time to load up this luggage, get in the car. Time zone change has been nice this time around. 11:17 is actually more like 8:17. Kids are feeling refreshed. I kind of hope they fall asleep quick. We're gonna load up and get home to our house. Go see Laz and go see our home. Lazzy cat. Lazzy, where are you, bud? Where's a kitty? Lazzy, kitty, kitty. Lazzy, kitty, kitty, kitty. Where is he? <gasps> Lazzy, it's you, buddy. Lassie. It's you. Lazzy. Don't overwhelm him, okay? Be slow and soft, okay? It's us, buddy. We're back. Are you hanging out in the basement? My oh, buddy, buddy. Oh, my little guy. Thank you for watching the house for us. Thank you so much, Imachi. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, but all We're of home. it's clean, but one little bag. Hey, that's actually true. That's that doesn't represent like loads and loads of laundry. That's pre-folded, pre-washed. Really, the biggest task just put is away. taking it upstairs at this point. Um, you have cat hair on your face. But you're trying to get romantic. Animals. I have been. Laz is very attached to me at the moment. He's literally sticking his claws into me as if like to say, "Don't you dare try and leave." And I he know. can't get him out of my sweater. Like they keep getting stuck, so he's getting stuck on me as he walks across. Some cute little kitty cat. He is so adorable. You guys, we are happy We're to home. be home. It sounds we weird did. to say, but I'm actually really excited to be home. It feels good. I think it feels right. It just feels like home. It feels great. I had like a million things I wanted to say, and I have just gone. You guys, he almost fell asleep driving. Pure zombie. He's tired. It's 12:30. Here, which I should be used to it being 9.30, but I am just wiped. No. Behind the scenes of logging on vacation is that you, you do it in the middle of the night. That's the well, we had it, some so. late nights, so he went to bed at 3.30 in the morning. So it starts to stack up over <clears> time, and I just think we're that tired. ready to be home and get some sleep and get back onto the normal schedule. But a busy day tomorrow, we actually really do. We got a basketball game, get back to life stuff, as you saw here. Which Grocery shopping. Some. I just said I just want some milk. Like there's, don't, you don't, there's certain <laughs> things you just don't have because you can't keep it in your house while you're gone for that long. So getting back to life, getting back to normal. Huge shout out and thank you to the people who watched our house for us, watched Laz, yes. gathered our mail. We're so grateful, so thank you so much. And you guys, if you're just joining our family, we desperately got home from Hawaii, so if you <laughs> haven't watched those videos, go, go back. There's 11 out. days of fun videos on I'm our gonna Hawaii -watch playlist. Them. If you're just bored and wanna watch them, go watch them, because they're awesome. So thanks for hanging with us, guys. Thanks for being part of our family. We love you all so, so much. We're so grateful to be home and, and thanks start for regular life again. on our vacation. Like fluffing. You guys were there every single day, every step of the way, so thank you for that. We love you guys. Come back tomorrow, and have a great night. See you later.